Hey, Paisanos! Sorry for the wait. Busy, 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 busy. Busy, busy bear. Busy bear! Oh, whoops. Wrong button. <laughs> Don't laugh. I had... <laughs> on the wrong oh, spooky oh no whoops oh no oh how scary I hit the wrong button I have a button on the stream deck to bring up the um the thingy yeah the alerts hello my little piglets welcome welcome good evening just no more heroes tonight. Guess what I watched today? The dream music video. What? The dream music video. Yeah. He put out uh, a song about how um, he wears a mask that's a smile because he's sad underneath, you guys. Pretty novel concept. I'm bullying like a 16 year old. <laughs> How old is he? Hold on. He's 21? No, okay. He's old enough to drink. He's old enough to. Uh, come on. Come on, dude. Okay. So sad. <laughs> so sad. Truly. Truly. I, you know, it, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. The kids love it, right? Kids don't love me, you know? So he's doing something right. The kids love him. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are playing more No More Heroes tonight. Dude, Elden Ring, huh? Oh, yeah, let's do that quick. Let's do that quick. Let's do a recap of Summer Game Fest, which I should have watched. Which I should have watched, my bad. I had a panda meeting today, which was kind of important. But I did watch uh, most of it on my second monitor, so. Um, IGN, maybe? Probably the best thing? Yeah, okay. There were, like, two good-looking games. Yeah, it's not so much about how good the games were. It's about the shit that happened. So let's go down the list. And this is not in chronological order. This is, I guess, in order of importance. Uh, first up, Elden Ring. It's real! Wow! I thought it was a tech demo. I really thought this was just a tech demo for PS5. I was like, damn, those graphics are sick. No, it's real. January 21st. I have bad news, though. It's not January 21st. This shit is coming out in August. It's getting delayed. Shake. Actually, maybe not. I don't know how much FromSoft delays, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get delayed. So maybe August of next year, okay? Shake with me on it. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Who cares? Not me. Good God. Andy Samberg, Wanda Sykes, Ashley Birch, Will Arnett, and more. Wow. What a cast. Randy's done it again. God. Yuck. Ugh. I don't know. I This is going to sound really mean, and maybe it is. I just don't... Like, how can you be Ashley Birch and been working on Borderlands for, like, eight years and not be like, this is getting kind of old. This is kind of... I'm getting kind of bored of this. Money? That much money? Yeesh. Metal Slug's Tactics. Sick. 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 Metal Slug is not a game that would work in 2021. I really don't think so. I don't know how you can make it function. And when a game takes an IP that's as cool as Metal Slug in a distinctive style and tries it in a totally different uh, sort of new game format, that's amazing. 
Big fan. Sonic Mania Composer? Oh, is this him? I had no idea. No, I love this. I love the idea of taking, you know, uh, sort of older game IPs and, and, and franchises and adapting them to modern times. And not that tactics games are revolutionary or anything, but it seems like a good way to um, utilize that stuff and really speaks to, like, the franchise's uh, strengths, which are pixel art, presentation. Um, I think having this on the Switch is also going to be killer because, you know, it's on the go, so. Metal Slug games are still fun, but I could be biased. I don't think the average Zoomer would want to play Metal Slug. At all. I think you have to take the franchise in a different direction. I think Tactics is a cool idea, even if it is just like a spinoff, you know? Death Stranding Director's Cut. Don't care. Don't care. I, I, what does the Director's Cut even mean? It's gonna be 40 more hours of gameplay. That's a big no thanks. Yeah. Why did he do the Metal Gear thing? Why did he do that? God. He mentioned 9-11 though. Yeah, that was crazy. Jeff, d d dude, I, I feel like that was a pre-taped segment, and I think that, uh, I think that Jeff should have been a little bit more tonally consistent. Ooh, thank you, TK. Bro, he was like, he was like, Kojima, how are you doing today? Thank you for joining me. Yeah, shit's fucked. Oh my god, Japan's in a state of emergency, 9-11 happened. Oh no. Poor Kojima, dude. Thank you, Zvignol. Looking quite colorful today. Dude, I got this hoodie at a gas station. I think it was like a Sheets in North Carolina. I love this hoodie. It's so comfy. So you tell me Kojima of Kojima Productions didn't get the Kojima director's cut on the release of his game directed by Koji Hideo Kojima. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what this means. Either way, I'm probably not going to play it. Why did Jeff Goldblum do that? Jeff Goldblum said Chaos Control and then revealed Jurassic World Evolution 2. Why did he do that? I gotta be honest. You know how they say that you hate in other people what you see in yourself? I feel that way when I watch Jeff Goldblum. Because some of my YouTube intros are way too fucking long and I ramble too much. And when I watch Jeff Goldblum do do anything, his shtick pisses me off. It's so annoying. I'm here to uh, do a, a world premiere. That means a game that is being seen for the first time. I'm going to show you a game right here into this camera, and I'm going to read it off the screen so I don't get it wrong. Can't wait to show you and tell you. It's so annoying. People love his shtick. I know they do. I know. Again, I it's it's purely because I do it too. You know? We hate that which we see in ourselves. It's my fault. It's not him, it's me. But when he does it, it's entertaining. Well, we have a different cadence, right? So his is a little he's just old, actually. No, if I did that and I was older, it'd be fine. If I was like your your cool bachelor uncle, you'd be fine with it. Thank you, Trump. Jeff Goldblum makes more money. I'm a Twitch streamer, bro. Come on. I'm a millionaire. You know that. How do you know? My if Jeff Goldblum is still hawking Jurassic World in 2021, how much money do you think that dude has? Be honest. Come on. Been pushing the same movie for 50 years. Insane. He's hawking apartments.com. He got that because they gave him an apartment with the commercial. Dude's hurt. Lost Ark, don't care. Sable's release date? What's Sable? I don't know what that is. Among Us. Did anybody else roll their eyes at this? So they did all this, and then and then at the end, they were like, I this is so mean. This is so mean, I know. 
I'm sorry, but this shit. Map 5, this is all they would show us, and then... And maybe we'll even take a nap. Like, I guess to suggest that they've been working really hard for a long time... I, okay, man. Like, do you have to put that in the in the trailer? You know? Come on, guys. Like, I, I get it. You guys are working hard, but you also made Mafia to be played on phones and are now billionaires. Just, you don't have to put that in. Just be thank- You know what I mean? Like, one map a year and you can't take a nap? You added colors? You added colors and pixel art? And you want to go to sleep? Do your job. You know? I don't know. But it might have just been a fun thing. Yeah, maybe it was just a silly thing. I'm cynical and I was like, oh, they're worrying about crunch? Cringe. Salt and say Okay, everything that I just said about being mean, I did- Okay, I'm actually mean on this one. I can't believe this game got a sequel. Good lord. I can't stand this game. Salt and Sanctuary is legitimately one of my least favorite games I've ever played. Unironically. It is uh, absolutely derivative. It is unclear. It is god-awful ugly. I hate that game. I sincerely hate that game. And now there's another one. What did they change? I don't know. I think this is multiplayer now. It just, it looks like 2003 Newgrounds Flash animation. And it just, it, there's nothing new or interesting. It just looks like Dark Souls. Maybe there is in the game. I don't know. I played 15 minutes of the first game, and I was like, this sucks. Obliterated. Yeah, because you can't see, you can't say, like, dead. You can't say what anybody else said, so they just went to the thesaurus, and they had to pick out a word. Oh, obliterated. Okay, yeah, perfect. God. Thank you, Septimus. I, I, I just, I can't stand this series. And I looked at the sentiment, and everybody's very excited. And you know what? I'm happy for them. I really am. I'm genuinely very happy for them that they found an audience. I think that audience are a bunch of pigs at the trough, and they're gonna eat this up. It's just fuck. Ugh. It's garbage. But whatever, you know. Thank you, Celis. The whole game is just rolling through the enemies back and forth. Yeah, I. What does the 2D environment do that makes? The 3D environment, you know what I mean? Like, what does 2D environment have against 3D? Restricts it. Yeah, what can you do? What can, what can you add in 2D that is not in 3D? You know? God. I get it's a way to save costs, which is fine, but I think those costs need to be put into, like, a better art style, or maybe just a different fucking location or setting. It, listen. I have said so many times on this stream that I think you could just take the Souls formula and apply it to other places. I don't like the Surge, but I appreciate what it tried to do, right? I thought it was kind of interesting. If you can, uh, or uh, what was that other game? The one that was like Cosmic Horror in Space. I played it and it sucked. You know what I'm talking about? Blood Point? Was that it? You could just lift, pray. No, pray is amazing. Prey is is dishonored in space, but good. Uh, Hellpoint. That was it. Hell, I didn't like Hellpoint, but I appreciate what they tried to do. There was the other game. Uh, Mortal Shell. That one sucked. But when you take the Souls formula, if you could just put it in a new setting and try to adapt it to that setting and be unique, that's fine. That's enough. You feel me? Like, that's, that's enough. That's okay. Because you picked a time-proven formula and you're, it, it, you're introducing it into an interesting setting. You just made another fucking Souls game, but you removed a dimension. That's all they did. And you made it uglier. I hate Salt and Sanctuary. And now I hate Salt and Sacrifice. Jedi Fallen Order. Great example. Great game. Great game. We need easy Souls games. Absolutely. Fine with me. 
And then you introduce one boss that is absolutely impossible to defeat, like Oingo Boingo. Whatever the fuck that guy's name was. Perfect. Done. Would you play a Souls-like Shark Tales? Absolutely. I'd play a Souls-like anything as long as it wasn't this. Ogdo Bogdo, that was it. Yeah. Oingo Boingo. Isn't that a band? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was it. Bum, 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 bum. Anyway. Uh, salt and Sanctuary, Salt and Sacrifices. It's a meme. Two Point Campus. <laughs> Two Point Campus was very funny to watch the chat. The chat is so mean. Skip, 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 skip. Elden Ring, Elden Ring, skip, skip. Chat is so mean. It got me thinking, what if you could skip segments in like E3 presentations? Chat wouldn't watch anything. Skip, skip, skip. We would have like a minute long conference. If you could vote skip, yeah. But point camp, two point campus looks fine. It's not for me. Escape from Tarkov, don't care. Smite has now become Fortnite Junior, which is fine, right? Fine. Uh, they're just trying to make brand deals and find ways to revitalize their game. Not even revitalize, just like keep old people playing or maybe even coming back. That's fine. Good for them, I guess, you know? Stranger Things is a weird choice. I don't like any of the media collaborations because I, th I think the idea of Smite is really sick, which is like Battlefield of the Gods, right? So they're all actual gods. So I think introducing media stuff is kind of corny, as opposed to Dead by Daylight, which I think does it really cool because it's actually like, it's thematically relevant. Except when Pyramid Head sacrifices stuff to okay never mind i take that back when i see mike myers instead of killing somebody he sacrifices that they're so they're cucking themselves do you really think like freddy krueger doesn't want to kill somebody he's just like no here you go evil deity you do it that's so cringe why are you giving him this that's okay never mind i take it back it's shitty it's stupid but Smite is an interesting idea if that's how they're trying to keep it alive, but I don't know. The idea is that even the killers were abducted by the entity? That's still cucking, but in a different way. I'll give it up. But that just means that they are susceptible to the, to the whims of some cosmic god, right? Which sort of demystifies characters like Myers, right? Who's supposed to be like the personification of evil. Is he somehow paranormal in a way? Who knows? I just, you know. You know what I'm saying? Dead by Daylight sucks though, so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore in the case. I'm giving it free publicity right now. Oh, speaking of. This is not free publicity. This is paid publicity. Gonna enjoy a nice delicious beverage. Can of Root right now. Root, the all, per all natural performance is it all natural i don't know oh i didn't know it was orange look at that i've actually never looked at it yeah delicious okay dude did you guys see this the ana anacrisis i thought this was a joke this trailer was so fucking funny I, I tweeted out LMAO for like with no context and it was because of this. This trailer looks so fucking funny. Here. <laughs> this is so funny to me. Hello? Nessa! Liu! Oh, whoops. Liu! Stick together and let's do this. <laughs> Is this a disco? All the enemies look the same. I never realized how important it is that zombies look different until I saw this. This I do not like. I agree. True. I can use some help. Hey, 
to your post. This is not good. Bro, she's like surrounded here. I love this part. She's like on the ground surrounded and then hit the blast. Boosh! This is not good. This is not good. What if we open the doors and run? Just run. No stopping, no shooting, just straight to the bridge. Get that flasher! Man. Heavy. Really? We call them tanks. I call them brutes. From Latin, Brutus. We'd sound smart calling them brutes. Gion, you don't want to get in here and help name these? Nah, I'm good. Brute! It's left for dead. It's left for dead. Why did you make left for dead? You know left for dead is coming back out. Left for dead is literally coming back out. Why did you make left for dead? You're what? <laughs> Couldn't you have come out a year ago? How hard can it be to make Left 4 Dead? I feel like it can't be that hard. I don't know. Uh, oh, dude, this... Yeah, there's a new publishing label with Payday and Painkiller and a bunch of games I've never played that I have no interest in. Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, cool, I guess. Um, thank you, Jackalope fine i don't care you know it's fine uh anime fine no point buying knockoff left for deads when l4d2 is out as yeah. it's 20 dollars and everyone owns it well it's also like free a lot i would be surprised if people don't own left for dead in their steam library you know that's crazy um jeff named more brands than i've ever seen him name before that was so funny. He was like, Fast and the Furious is back in Rocket League with the new Pontiac and the Dodge Charger, along with the Ford F-150 and the Mustang. And I was like, damn, how many paychecks is that? Thanks, Jeff. I don't know these games. Overwatch 2, oh man. Uh, uh, I do not envy that game director. Hey, you root beer guy. That was also so funny. Jeff would be like, all right, I'm so excited to show you this. Can't wait for you to see this. You're not going to want to miss this. Take a look at this new world premiere, the trailer play. All right, and now I've got something to show you. I can't wait to show you this. I'm so excited. Here's a world premiere. All right, and now here's a new thing. He just didn't, he didn't care about any of it. How insincere. Good for him, though. I'm not shitting on him. Listen, I've done bounties before. I love Jeff, but it's so funny to see a man shill so much and so often, you know? Uh, I do not envy Overwatch's game director. I remember when Overwatch came out, and, and uh, I don't know if you guys felt this with me, but I felt a real sense of optimism where it was like, wow, this is really cool. This is a really interesting direction to take the shooter genre. I think this is really fascinating, and I bet they're going to have a bunch of ideas for years to come. And they didn't. And now the new game is coming out, and their big idea is PvE. Poggers. Overwatch beta was mad fascinating. It was a really cool time on Twitch. Because, like, everybody wanted to get in, and once people got in, it was like a celebration, you know? I felt the exact same way and progressively got more and more jaded at Blizzard in general. Yeah, J Blizzard 2 sort of went down a weird path, right? Um, I was never a Blizzard fan. I've never really been into or played any other game, so I can't really speak on it. But as I understand it, they got super derivative. And it might have been the Activision thing, right? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just making stuff up. Um, I do not envy the guy who took over for Jeff on Overwatch. Ugh. Good lord. Planet of Lana. Uh, looks pretty. I wanted to know, is this like an out of this world? Because they called it off 
Earth audit like there I I wanted to know like so there was a game that came out in the 90s called Out of This World uh which was like this kind of thing it was like a, a 2D style thing like this I wondered if it was like that kind of thing which would be really interesting uh but I don't really care otherwise it it's an indie game and indie games if an indie game doesn't hook me right away I'm probably writing it off and that did not hook me right away you know it's tough too many games to play. Monster Hunter, don't care. Endless Dungeon, don't care. Uh, 2B is in Fall Guys. <laughs> That's fine. Good for her. Good for her. Truly. Anyone ever play Yoku's Island Express? I did, actually. I played Yoku's Island Express when I was on a business trip in Boston at my old job. I liked it. It is fun. It is fun. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a pinball Metroidvania. It's really interesting. Uh, I'm not crazy about it, but it's a really cool idea. And actually, I have a, a video that I want to do on a side channel. This is what I've talked about before on, on these ideas that I have. I want to do a video that's top five bug games. That's it. And it's top five games where you play as a bug. And it's like Bad Mojo, where you're the cockroach, Zapper for the PS2, Mr. Mosquito, Yoku's Island Express, and I gotta come up with a fifth. Boom. There are zero good bug games. Well, Hollow Knight. I didn't even fucking think of that. There we go. Yeah. I thought that'd be fun. I want to do videos sort of in the style of, um... What's that guy? The Irish guy. Matthew Matosis. That's the guy. I like the way he does stuff. That'd be fun, if I could find the time. <laughs> Jacksepticeye. <laughs> uh, Call of Duty Zombies Don't Care. Fall Cry. Okay, so I had to drop off of the stream on this because I had to. We were talking about something on the call that was really important. Um, so I hadn't been paying attention at this point. Uh, reveals his character right, background. Right. I, I will watch this. I don't know John if I want to watch the whole Esposito thing. But. To talk Far Cry 6. Uh, John Carlo, thank God, you for joining us. So why did you thing? want to take on this role? Because it's a bad guy, and you get paid a lot of money for playing bad guys. He's been playing the same bad guy since 2006. I would take this role, too. They came to me with this phenomenal idea. Oh, they came to you? Really? Wow, okay. That's great. They said, John Carlo Esposito, will you play the bad guy? And he said, yes, I will play the bad guy. Uh, and had proposed that... I play Anton Castillo, the leader of Yara, with this big vision and dream for his country. And it, it really appealed to me because he was a guy who was bad. First came from a love of his family and a love of his community and country. And it was so in, in, in line. Drip. Drip. Line with what's going on in the world politically today and what has happened in the past. I thought, what a great opportunity. The other part of it is it's just a different technology that's so brand new. It <laughs> excites me I as did a not see this. that I wanted to be a part of it. All right. Well, you've played some that's absolutely funny. amazing villains in your career. What was it like being that's all a he's played. Yeah. villain? No, I'm not a villain. I have to. I got to push back on you. I'll let you finish. <laughs> but this guy loves his country. He's a bad guy. He wants to empower you, Keely. He wants to empower you He's a bad to guy. stand up and speak your truth. Now, you can go back to calling me a villain if you like. Well, you are smiling on the box. You're a good guy, right? <laughs> I am because I, I feel hey, like you wrapped, boy. as human beings fall in line. And I, I, I want to be a renegade within reason. How do you like that? Because I think part and parcel of us falling in line and doing what we need to do and thinking about the... He's not a bad guy, though. He's not a bad guy. Look at this. Would a bad guy do this? Cumulative effect of our doing what's right, and the example of that is also to stand up and say, no, I do agree that they're good and bad about all people, but this guy, out of his love and passion for his people, even if they're faceless to him at certain points in time, allow him to be an absolute hero. Uh, speaking of your character, who did you base him on or study to create this character? Gus so Fring. Because, of course, the, the obvious choice to study is Fidel Castro. 
and it is Cuba, an <laughs> island that had so many resources, but really the dream of the ability of the dictator to Myself. cultivate those resources, <laughs> something got in the way there. And hopefully that can change in the years to come. It's funny you asked me that question because I was just talking to one of my daughters about Ceausescu and, and uh, also Hitler. Uh, because we were talking about zodiac signs and oh. what signs were certain people. What is that mindset that has you wanting to be have power over others? Uh, and for each dictator, it's different. She'd never heard of Ceausescu and studied political science and all this in college. Where's my money go? So anyway, so he's a likable all guy. Right, well, one last question for you: uh, Who would win in a square off between Gus Fring, Moff Gideon, and Anton? You know, and I have my favorites in those two. So Remember when you played the two bad guys? Remember that? Remember all the roles you've ever played? What if they fought? You asked me this question. Um, and, and, you know, immediately I say Moff Gideon. Immediately. You know, somehow I, I think Gus is colder and displays that coldness in a very particular way. Uh, you know, I think Anton... Not a villain just based on Hitler? <laughs> true, true. ...could be the most you, violent Matt? man on Earth. Uh, but given his situation, he may not be rise to that occasion or may not have the time. Moff Gideon is otherworldly. This guy thinks in a different way. And he knows I don't know who that is. Is that Mandalorian? All right. Uh, I will play Far Cry 5 and I will eat it up like a good pig. I love Far Cry games. Thank you. Thank you for the swill. Oh, six. Yeah, whatever. They're all the same. What the fuck is this? Bruce Campbell, two people from the 70s in a fucking night? That guy's from Chivalry 2. How did he get in here? King Arthur? Who's making this game? Uh, Saber Interactive, who made... Damn. Crisis 2K Battlegrounds. <laughs> Halo remakes. Killing Floor 2 is kind of kind of nice. Killing Floor 2 is pretty good. Maybe. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Dude, I got a code to cover 2K Battlegrounds, and I played it for half an hour, and I said, I'm not streaming this. <laughs> I own the game. I own the game. It's not fun. Not fun. It's very repetitive. You should very funny. It's not, though. It's not fun. It's funny for, it's funny for five minutes. Or ten. You know? Back for Blood, I did not see this. I don't really care to. Uh, but good for them. I'm excited for Back for Blood. Was it? Shouldn't this have been out by now? This came out in June. That was the initial release date. And so did uh, Deathloop. But both of them got delayed. That sucks. That sucks. Showing Back for Blood next to that other knockoff. Yeah, that did it dirty, dude. Like, Back for Blood genuinely looks great. Even just picking all the shit that Left 4 Dead did is just like, yeah, it's zombies, and it's the same exact setting. What the fuck do you want? We did it well. It's like, okay, I'll give it up. That other game is like, yeah, we're in space. All right. How would you make a Left 4 Dead clone unique? Hmm, that's a good question. Have to change the setting, right? Can't be zombies. I think it's all in the details, right? It has to all be in the details, like the different kinds of monsters. You could probably make it robots if you really wanted to. Cool movement, what, like parkour? <laughs> Vermintide? Never played it. There are ways to do it. Aliens? They did that, and it looks like shit. No, there is a way to do aliens, though, if it just doesn't look like that. Uh, Tony Hawk for dead. 
Dude, what was up with that Weezer shit? Did you guys... Well, I, it didn't show it. Weezer came on, and they had a song about whining about critics. Yeah, Weezer had a song whining about critics, and had gameplay in the background, and they never said what the game was. And then Jeff's like, yep, that's coming out soon. And I'm like, you never told me the name. It was so weird. Wave break? That was it. I, I had seen it before, and it looks okay, but it was so funny that they didn't say what it was. And the theme song for the game is just Weezer whining about critics. You don't think that, that, that bodes poorly for your game? You know? It was so funny that Weezer, like, Jeff was, <laughs> Jeff was like, Hey, this next band uh, will let you play any song you want, so feel free to stream it. It's DMCA free. And everybody's like, hell yeah, cool. And he was like, please welcome Weezer. And everybody's like, fuck. Monkey Paw. It's like that Simpsons thing. <laughs> That's good. That's bad. Man. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm being, I'm being mean again. I shouldn't be mean. I don't get Weezer. I never have. Weezer does not make sense to me. I don't get it. I've never been into them. Weezer is good. Now are they? Dude, on the way to Tennessee, a song came on uh, uh, on our shuffle playlist by Modest Mouse, and I had a brain blast. I forgot Modest Mouse existed. It was, um, Moon in Antarctica, I think, from that album. I used to love them. Kind of grew out of it, but they're a good band. It's not their fault, but not really into it anymore. Okay. Let's play No More Heroes. Modest Mouse is extremely hit or miss. The, um... The thing about Modest Mouse is that they change styles so much that you can like early stuff and hate late stuff. Which Aesop Rock does too. Um, and I like bands that do that a lot. But Modest Mouse does it more than most, you know? Playing video games? I know, I know. Viewer go down. <laughs> it's okay though, I gotta play games. Uh, maybe a bit of a shorter stream tonight. I have to film something for Panda after. Um, so I might just end at 11. We will check on the babies, I promise. But no movies. No shows tonight. Sorry. Thank you, prototype. Play Strive with Justin Wong? No thanks. If I'm gonna get Strive, I'm getting it on PC, and that shit isn't coming out till next year. No way. We didn't react to the Elden Ring trailer? I don't really have much to say about it. It looks good. It looks like Dark Souls. Gave me serious Dark Souls vibes. What time zone are you in? Guess. Change your jeans? No. Oh, they are looking a bit, uh, they are looking a bit ripped, but I like the aesthetic. We're keeping it. Bam. Oh god, everything opened up. Beefhead! Where should I get a pizza? Chat, what's your favorite pizza chain? And don't be geeks, okay? None. I don't like pizza chains. Shut the fuck up. If you're on vacation and you want a pizza, where are you going?
Pizza Hut? Travis, Probably my favorite, too. Better time, huh? You're not gonna believe your eyes. I just really like uh, stuffed crust. I hate Domino's. Hate Dom Grotto? Dude, I hate Grotto. Hate is a strong word. I don't like Grotto. I do like Little Caesars, though. People hate on Little Caesars so much, and I don't get why. <laughs> Chad, it's you! It's you! True! This is how I feel. So I guess... Oh, this is where you buy new moves, right? Yeah. Come back again. Okay. Domino's is straight up ass pizza. Domino's is disgusting unless you get the deep dish, which is pretty good. And <laughs> look what happened. Not only did the gift pop up and interrupt my game, now Travis won't stop. Maybe I'll give it a try. Thank you, Zero Striker. Thank you. You didn't have to do this. Wait, this does. I thought. St I thought this came out on Steam another day. I thought it came out on Steam later, on PC. Tonight? Tomorrow? Maybe I'll give it a try. In case you guys don't know, I played a fuck ton of Guilty Gear when I was younger on the Xbox. I played uh, X2, I think. I was a chip player. I know. I played Chip and uh, Venom. Um, what character are... But the problem is, I need characters that are... Relatively simple, not input heavy, right? Um, Soul? I don't want to play Soul. They got to be cool, too. And I know Slayer isn't in the game. I like Slayer. You're a Leo player? Leo, Leo? Oh, I have I have heard he's a little, uh, little aggressive. Giovanna? You think? Soul is corny, though. I'm not going to play Soul. Not about it. Play Chip if you think he's cool. I don't. I don't think he's cool. Chip just felt cool to me when I was younger. But then I found out what Chip's backstory... It's so funny because Chip's whole backstory is like the antithesis of what I'm into. At least it used to be. He was like an American that really wanted to be Asian or something. <laughs> Big ass weeb, you know? Giovanna is simple but feels sick. That's the thing. I don't know what my style is though in traditional fighters. Like, in Smash games, I'm a grappler player, um, predominantly. But not really, because I played Inkling? I don't know. I don't even know what to describe. I love command grabs, basically. I played Kano in, uh, in combat. I hear Potemkin is actually good in this game. Travis! Huh. Then play Potemkin? What are his inputs, though? Because I talked to Josh. Uh, Josh is... Somebody I work with at Panda. Love that guy. Josh and I were talking, and, like, obviously everybody tries to get me on Zangief right away. And I'm like, dude, Zangief has, like, inputs, though. He's kind of technical, right? That's a big no thanks. I gotta do pretzels and shit? 360s? No way. No thanks from me. For the little bit of time that I played Street Fighter V, I played Cody. What do you want? Oh, these guys want the balls. Yeah. Okay. Keep practicing. Bow. In my heart, I'm a Vega player. Claw Vega, but... I don't like charge shit. And I know he's not a charge character now, but he seems a little bit more complicated. Mods for No More Heroes are rolling in. Word? Anything good? 
Story mode is heavy anime? Oh, is it? Oh, man. I actually really like the way Guilty Gear does it, though. It doesn't turn me off completely. Maybe if only because, like, it feels, uh... It is so referential and, like, uh, sort of culturally relevant. I think it's neat. But I guess JoJo's is the same way, right? Like, everybody's named after a fucking band or, you know? So... Fix the game? Oh yeah, I forgot. Why do you guys care if I fix the game, huh? Why does that matter to you? Hmm? Hmm? Because we gotta look at this for hours. You don't have to! It's a lot of streams on Twitch. Listen, I get it. I'm playing a game tonight. You don't want to be here. It's fine. My feelings aren't hurt. Come back Wednesday. We got movies. Wait, is this... Is the ball over there? Oh, shit. I forgot to do word of the day. Oh, my God. Fellas. The word of the day is, you ready? Ravelment. 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 Ravelment means entanglement or confusion. People experienced a bit of ravelment when they clicked onto my stream and saw me playing a video game and not reactioning. Ravelment. Ravelment. What is this? We make learning fun. Expand your vocabulary with flashcards and quizzes. Oh, I might do this later. That's fun. I've been trying to work on my vocab, dude. My vocabulary used to be super good, and now it's not good. I feel like I fall back on the same shit a lot, you know? Metal Gear's story mode is full of ravelment. I'm, I'm, I'm positive it is. My vocabulary sucks now. It uses SAT words on commentary. I can drop one SAT word in a two-hour block, and people will say I'm a genius. It's one fucking word, brothers. You know? Where's the ball? It's not even a hard word. Sardonic? Come on. Read a book. Thank you, Friendship Dave. Is this it? Why am I even getting- are the balls even worth it? I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh. What killed me is when I would drop a word and TK and EE would make fun of me. It's your job to talk, motherfuckers! You should be thanking me. I'm doing your work for you. What is this doing here? Oh, I hit the wrong button. It's your job to communicate. Travis. You know? Yes. How many do I have? Eight? I have eight? I thought there were only seven total. Am I stupid? I had no idea. Seven per upgrade. Oh. Oh. Seven balls at a time. Got you. I've been saying oh a lot because Julietta started saying oh's and it's so cute. She'll go ooh. And we're trying to teach her moo. If she sees a cow, she just goes mmm. And, and we, she'll go mmm and she'll go ooh, but she won't put them together. Working on that. Oh, I got a new rug for the basement, everybody. I'll show you in a little bit. I'm excited. Is this it? What's the M? Is the M a mission? I think it is. 
Mustard Christmas. I have no mustard. Secret. So remember, E3 stream will be all this weekend. No stream tomorrow. Uh, Saturday. If you guys want to see the schedule, it's on my Twitch. Um, or Twitch. What am I saying? Twitter. Clean up. Pick as much garbage as you can. Okay. Dude, $1,000 for every piece of garbage. That's nice. Sick. Twitter. Check the Twitter for the schedule. I don't know how to feel about Borderlands, dude. Because, like, they've been making the same game for, like, 10 years, but nobody else is making that game anymore. Have they, like, cornered the market? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like nobody else is doing the 2006 humor. So somebody has to. Loot shooters? I just mean the style of it, you know? The people who love Borderlands love Borderlands. My sibling was, like, heavy into Borderlands. Like a big fan, like fan fiction and stuff. And I, I'm like, I don't get it. What do you mean? What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. What's there even to latch on to with Borderlands Story? All the characters are as, like, irreverent and, and impossible of feeling emotion. Like, I just, I don't get it. You have a sibling? Yeah, I have a sister and a brother. Want to know the unspoken rules? Land of freedom and anarchy. Uh, garbage. Each garbage is a lost soul. Save lost souls. Got it. Okay. Saving the garbage. Okay, no bike. <laughs> no bikes. Okay. How far do I have to run? Why is it $1,000 per garbage? And how much can there be? No way. Easy. <laughs> make me do this. Okay. You know what? This is fine. This is nice. I'm learning the value of hard work. An honest day's labor. Good. At least on the Wii, I could throw my arm back, you know? Motion controls and whatnot. Community hero. <laughs> Why do people like this game again? The boss fights! The bosses are cool. And it's kind of funny. And it's... It's... Oh my god, it's a lot like Borderlands. Oh man. I... Uh, never really thought about it. Thank you, Big Red. Oh god, my pupils just dilated. I never really thought about it. Huh. Fuck. Huh. Easy. So, I forgot to say this last stream. Somebody in chat randomly brought up, they were like, Kony should play Yakuza. And then somebody else said, Kony would not like Yakuza. Let me just follow up on that conversation from yesterday saying, you're probably right, I would not. I looked into it. Somebody gifted me Yakuza 0, and I was genuinely looking into it. And I was looking into Like a Dragon, because I've been hankering for that kind of game for some reason. But then I heard it's a lot of reading, and I said, no thanks. I'm not trying to read. I hate reading. I've heard Like a Dragon is super good. What, from Luke? I saw Luke actually, like, put up a review on it. I went to go look at the game to see if I would buy it. And Luke had a review that was like, this game is sick. Coney likes vocabulary but hates reading. Yeah, I like s the spoken word. Fuck a book. You know? Bro, I'm gonna be rich. A thousand dollars per garbage? 
Coney only likes words that make him sound smart. What's the point of language if not to sound smart? The point of a vocabulary is the big dick on people that you can't beat in a fight. I'll get my ass beat, but I'll make you feel stupid. Where's your audiobook bounty? I'm working on it. I don't have the YouTube numbers. Another job. Oh, it's the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Bam, wow. Trying to hurt somebody's feelings, you know? Trying to be mean, bro. Jarvis, welcome. Isn't wordplay in a fight Muhammad Ali's thing? I get, yeah, yeah. I'll work on the second part later, you know? 4,000 per kill. Damn, that's 50k for pizza. Bro, Pizza Butt is at it again? I just killed their CEO. What is this? Pizza Butt plans to open up Santa Destroy. To crush their plans, kill the CEO. Oh, it's a different CEO because I killed the first one. Sure. Yeah. No, that makes sense. May you find your poker card? Yeah. That's how corporate ladders work. That's true. It was the vice CEO. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Pokemon? Uh, after Pokemon Snap, maybe. What was it? Uh, I like Sawsbuck a lot. I like Ducklet, but that feels... That's literally just a duck. I like Cubone. I love Sandshrew. Not Sandslash. That's it. Deerling? I like Sawsbuck more than Deerling, but I do love Deerling. Two Cannon? Two Cannon is very funny. Very funny. Three, two, one. Two Cannon is so fun. Like, he's so mean for no reason. What the fuck is his problem, you know? Everybody in here got guns. Fight honorably. I forgot about that part. It's gonna be a lot of that, guys. Oh my god, dude. What? Okay, I don't know what that was or how I was able to do it. That was sick. Is that guy not dead? Now he's dead. I, I know I should be just killing the target because I'm about to die. But I also want all the the money and the gold and shit, you know? Got it. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm out of time. <laughs> I didn't notice the timer. Oh. Oh, no. Don't make me go back. Don't make me go back, please. Please, I didn't notice the timer. Oh, you're a saint. Thank you. Shit. Did not notice the clock. That's my bad. That's my bad. Sorry, everybody. Sheesh. Sheesh. No, dude. Hit that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Thank you, Paul Sofa. Oh, is he dead? Oh. Got him. I have to get a gold for that, right? That was immediate. Okay. Whew. Thank God. 50K in the bank. Just for killing a guy. That's cool. Sick. I would have done it for less. 
Uh, where am I going? Where do I go now? Do I have enough money? I think I need 200k. I've got 111k. <laughs> Fuck, I guess I gotta go grind a little bit. I'll do one of the other missions. 250k? Sheesh! Any sheeshers? I am sheeshing. Sheesh! Estoy sheesh. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot to say how you like something in Spanish. Yo, yo. Fuck, what is it? It's so obvious. It's like so common. Gusta, me gusta. Me gusta el sheesh. Y tú? Gusta. It's a funny thing to say. Travis, welcome. Thanks. Four K per kill. That seems good, right? May you find your upper part? You guys ever look at things about hitmen or like, you know, documentaries or true crime things and they're like they talk about how hitmen were paid like 20k to kill a person and you're like that's not that much. You know? It's not crazy. I'm just saying, like, it's... Think of it this way. If you killed four people a year, one a season, you would make $80,000. Which is, like, okay. But for being a hitman? You know? That also isn't realistic. The people paying you to kill others are rich people. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I feel like there's probably a lot of, like, really shitty hitmen that get paid, you know, 5k in, like, the boonies or something, and then they get caught immediately. That probably does happen a lot. Wouldn't it depend on the person? Well, yeah, if it's like a diplomat or something, then... It would be more. If it's your manager at work, if you're like a waiter and you hate the... You hate the host, it might be different, you know? If you need someone dead, would you rather pay 100k for a good hitman or 5k each for 20 bad hitmen? That's a really good question. Depends on the target, I think. Can I be traced back to any of them? Or is this assuming I'll get away no matter what? The bad hitman will be easier to trace. Yeah, that's why I asked. Wait, no, what you do is you pay... Here's what you do. You pay the 20 hitmen, and then you say them, you tell them all to go at the same time, and the main target is that guy, but whoever's the last one standing gets all the money. So you get them all to kill each other, so there are less loose ends. And then when the last guy comes back to you, because he's a shitty hitman, you kill him, and then you don't pay anything. He's a shitty hitman, so I could just kill him, you know? Mmm... How about that? They'll probably just kill you at that point. No, they won't. If they kill me, they don't get the money. I'm not going to pay them until the job's done. You know? Sweet. Won't it trace back to you? What? Killing 20 people? <laughs> no way. I get away with it. Obviously. Do I just have to keep grinding these missions? 
I keep going back for new shit, but I feel like I don't have to do this, right? Like, I could just stay there, but I keep going back. Well, no luck. Trying to get all golds, right? You know? Trade in the balls? What do the balls do? Isn't it like a strength upgrade? Or something? Am I making that up? I think it's like strength. New moves? Okay. Jarvis, welcome. Damn, only a silver? On four? Yeah, I should have just stayed there. Fuck. Whatever, I'm gone. May you find your Uber car? What is she saying? May you find your Uber car? Oh, actually, I should do this to upgrade, come to think of it. She does not say true path. There's no way she says that. I know. You want that, right? <laughs> come on. Proper path? Proper path? Wait, is this... Is this the first time I'm doing it? I did it before. And I did it after I, uh, restarted. Did it count? I feel like this is the second time I've done this, right? I don't know. Whatever. Think you train after every boss? Yeah, but I thought it would tell me that, like, I did the first training, you know? Like, I thought that it would have been like, okay, this is training two, but... Because then it's like, if I get locked out of that first training, am I just weak for the rest of the game, you know? Arms hurt from mashing. Okay. So I might uh, tonight. I have to do some filming for Panda, and I might stream it or might not. I'm not sure. So if you guys want to see some Diddy Kong gameplay, let me know. If you don't, that's okay. Stream it? Maybe. ZZZ truing. I'm not playing the game. I'm watching Tweak. So. I wasn't able to do it earlier, so. I had to do it today. I wait for you. Bow! Is Tweak with Panda? Nope. He's on TSM still. But uh, we've been doing a series where we watch and analyze gameplay uh, from Smash World Tour. And people give us hate clicks. It's great. What's always funny is like, we put up a video that has a very clear title, which is like, Is Bowser top tier? XXX thinks so. And then obviously people are going to tweet out, no, we don't. And then that person gets likes and they get to feel good because they get likes for calling us out. We get engagement. It's great. Works all the time. Is Incineroar still sponsored by Panda? I don't think so. I think that meme's over. It's fascinating watching certain characters switch from online to offline. Dude, I'm telling you. I am telling you. Uh, oh, you get a technique. Oh, you get new moves. Um, Steve is a meme. Steve is prime Pac-Man. He's good. Did I say Steam? Steve is Pac-Man prime. He's good, but I think at a certain point, he's gonna, you know. Displays the position of enemies on the mini-map. 
jumping slash allows a dash by pressing A button. Oh, that sounds sick. Extends dark side mode. No. Ah, because of the woman. You get it? Uh, range of grab. Bonuses based on rank. Jumping down attack. No, dash. Absolutely. Thank you, Torbjen. Keep practicing. I gotta make new sub badges. I think it stops after what, like two years? I could just make them the numbers, you know? I keep putting that off. Wait, is this the dash? Holy shit! This is so much better! Oh my god, dude! Good lord. The sub badges are great. No, 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 I wouldn't replace the existing ones. I would I would uh, add the new ones, because I can go up to like eight years, I think. Oh, I thought I could like bank it. What do I have? 164k? Fuck me. Alright. Back on the grind. What's M? Is M like a mission? I actually don't know. I assume so. Imagine if an ATM told you to make more money. That's an overdraft. That's all that is. Overdraft fees are crazy, dude. How are you going to take money from me because I got no money? You know? The crazy thing is if you make enough money, you don't have to pay overdraft fees. Isn't that crazy? I've overdrafted by accident and my and I caught and I ate a $35 fee and I was like, "Hey, can you guys take that off?" and they were like, "Yeah." Sure. Happy to do it. Thanks. Sick. So yeah, highly recommend calling them to get that fixed. Listen, it's not my fault if you're poor, okay? If you can't call a bank and tell it to give you more money, that's on you. <laughs> bank, please give me money. Okay. <laughs> they were being sarcastic? The bank? Yeah, we'll definitely return that. Oh, wait, was that until I got hit? Fuck. I thought it was until I died. How am I gonna win that? Oh, it's over. What? Oh, okay, there it is. Whoopsie daisy. Bow! Take a single hit from the enemy. Oh, dude, I'm not good at that. I'm a bad player. How am I going to do this? Dude, this sucks because there's no way to... There's no way to target switch. I can't... What? Okay. Sheesh! Okay. Wait, I have what? I tr I tried to turn around. I'm gonna do this. This is so annoying. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. This has to be a lot of money, right? This has to be worth a lot of money. Hold on, I'm gonna charge it. 
is this worth, huh? This has to be worth a lot. Fuck. Okay, I can do this. Probably 50k? No way, it has to be more. Killing the pizza butt CEO was 50k. No way. Oh no, I'm out of charge! Oh, uh, what? There's there's plenty of room. There's plenty of room there. There were... Okay. There was plenty of room. No, that yes, there was. There was plenty of room, everybody. Thank you, Billy D. That's crazy. All right. Three, two... Oh, I can dash. I keep forgetting I can dash. I need to do this. What? Oh, I can't dash. Never mind. Wait, I can't dash. Dash is the A button, not the B button. Never mind. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Fuck. That's the dash. This is pissing me off. Here we go. Wait, okay, so I don't have a dash. I don't have a dash. I'm hitting the button, and the button is not dashing. It's an attack. NMH modding is good. I'll be the judge of that. No comment. One time I was watching the stream and my grandma heard you and said you sounded like a cartoon character. Thanks, grandma! But a cool one, right? Like Popeye? Wait, I'm out of juice. No. What do I do? I need to charge. What do I do? What do I do? Who told me to do a horizontal charge? That was the wrong idea. Okay, I <laughs> I hate this fucking shit. <laughs> There's no way to do it. There's no way to do this. This sucks. Okay, I'm gonna do a different mission. Wait, did their textures not load in? Surely that was just the lighting, right? I can't do this anymore. I can't. I gotta try it one more time. Like, if this was, like, a normal game that came out now, I could say, you know, this is doable. This shit's old and bad. Wait. Wait. Yes! Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what you do. That's what you do. You run in a direction, and then if you just swing the moment somebody else swings, you get that 
you get that thing. That's what it is. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Ah! Yep, got it. Good player, good player, good player, good player. Give me the money. I'm rich! Got it. Good player. Sick. Damn, that how much did that give me? Not fifty thousand. Cause I was at what, a hundred and forty something before? Shit. Forty K, yeah. I could have just killed the pizza butt guy, dude. Alright, there's another mission over here. Coney, come to Texas. I love Texas. I've only been once. I went uh to Houston. Um for Wobo, which used to be a, a Smash National. Um Hosted by a T.O. that I'm pretty sure is crazy. Uh, or at least he people thought he was crazy. And I, I feel like he's somebody who probably has gotten more crazy over time. Come to Colorado? I love Colorado. I've never been there for Smash, but I went to... Um, I think I went to Boulder when I was younger. I love it. I was at Houston during the, uh, some, like the biggest rodeo or something. I don't know. Some big rodeo they have once a year. It was amazing. There were kids riding sheep. It was very cute. Thank you, King Vassar. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm not going to Connecticut. Connecticut sucks. Worst drivers on the in the country. For sure. No, dude. Okay. Nobody has a gun, right? Okay. I'm gonna kill you. Woo! Ah! These guys are basically one-hit kills, so that's good. Good. Okay, got it. Go to Orlando, Florida without going to Disneyland. Literally impossible. I, you know I can't do that. Come on. I'm probably going to go to CEO, and I'm probably going to Disney World. And I'm taking my family. Actually, I'm really glad that I'm going to Disney World. I didn't even think about it, but uh, they're getting rid of Splash Mountain. So I get one more chance to ride it. Sick. Good. Disney World's not even that good. Cat! I'm afraid that's cat. I'm afraid that's cat. They're re yeah, I know they're reskinning it, but you get what I'm saying. Getting they're they're dropping it. They're they're retooling it, you know? How am I breaking his guard? I'm not doing a... I'm not doing like a punching attack, you know what I mean? Weird. What makes Splash Mountain racist? Look it up on Wikipedia. I, we don't have the time. We don't have the time. Thank you, Meatloaf. This weapon is a melee hit in a combo. Oh, sick! Three, two, one. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> 
Wait, that guy has a gun. I think? I don't know. He's holding something. This is so annoying. I just want to play the boss fight. I don't even know what boss I'm on. Am I on 7? Am I rank 7? Or I think I can look it up. Uh, rank eight. Fuck. Travis would not sub to me. Travis would take it personally when I shit talk to anime. He would, like, take it really seriously. Speaking of that, did you guys see that tweet that, uh, I think it was a League caster tweeted. He made, like, a Black Clover, re or Black Clover reference. You guys know what I'm talking about? Tony would be dead. Yeah, he would come kill me. He made like a Black Clover reference. Hold on, I'll find it in a second. It was very funny. I'll find it after the I beat this mission, which I definitely will do. Don't look it up, I'll tell you. Don't worry, I'll tell you. <laughs> Okay, one more, one more, one more. Don't post it. Don't post it. I'll tell you. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Wait. Oh my god. I saw that. Fuck! I saw him charging up, but I didn't really see it. Okay, hold on. Let me find it. I have it right here. Somebody sent it to me. Fuck, I can't find it. Okay, never mind. Link it. Never mind. Link it now. I want... I want... Now, now you have to link it. Please. But don't... Just link it to me. Don't send it to anybody else. Please. Please? Fine, I'll find it. You guys are so mean. It was... It was... A black Clover tweet. Here's a video... That's not a video about it. I know that's not it. I can see you get you understand when you post a link I can I can preview it. I see what it is. You won't fool me. I will always check for the health of my channel. I have to. Somebody sent it to me. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, whatever. So mad. I'm t it's not ever going to happen. Never ever. It was Black Clover, right? I'm 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 stun locked until I find it. Everybody. Which league caster? I don't remember. I don't even know if it was league. Might have been Dota? I don't know. This is not going to be funny at all. Yeah, I, the more... Yeah, no. Abort. It's not funny unless I can bring it up quickly. No, you're right. No, the build-up makes it not worth. Yep. No, you're right. Yep. No, you're right. My bad. Somebody sent it to me, and I thought it was funny. Found it? I'm not, that's, I don't think Vin Diesel tweeted it. I haven't checked the link, but I see who tweeted that. Does that tweet have family in it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. But it does have love.
Now you just blue balled it? I don't know. Look it up. You find it. Is this it? Yes, that's it. I'm not going to show it on stream. Read it on your own time. Thank you, Vorzando. Thank you. I've ruined the joke. Now you guys have to... You guys have to do a little bit of research now. How did I miss the grab? Sorry, dude, but I used to respect you for your casting. Just saw you slander Black Clover, and let me tell you, please fuck off. Not every anime has to fit to your bland-ass taste. Please think about your tweet ideas before tweeting them, or you will lose followers like me. Don't sh talk shit about Black Clover ever again. The storyline is something you can never create yourself, loser. Or you will... Okay, it's back to... And Asta, ironically, works harder than you ever... Than you can and will ever work. He's literally striving in a world based on magic without magic. It's like casting without a fucking voice. Know your place. It's probably a troll, but I've got to be honest. In my experience as being a public figure with a lot of overlap in, in like, the, a lot of anime people who follow me, uh, motherfuckers are weird. Might be genuine. I don't think it's a troll. I really don't. And actually, when I read that, I was I was kind of excited because I want to like ideate ways to farm uh, otaku hate. Now with offline events coming back, and I know the easiest way is just doing like the Star Wars Star Trek thing. And saying, like, I don't know, Kirito from Dragon Ball or something, you know? But I bet I could be inventive. Okay, that grab takes too long. That grab takes too long. Fuck! My go-to when JoJo's was more relevant, not to say that it's not good, like, you know, I know people like it, but, like, when it was all over the place was, uh, year, year days. That worked a few times. Got me a few DMs. Say good grief? People will just think that's a Charlie Brown. I'm Charlie Brown posting. Schultz posting. Thank you, Boom Splat. Poo post? Oh, bother. Kids don't know who Charlie Brown is anymore. Do they not? I always wonder that. How are the loot? I, I, we talk about this like once a week on the stream. I swear to God. Ha are Looney Tunes still relevant? Are Peanuts still relevant? They have to be, right? No, what? Fuck. Okay. Because there was the Peanuts movie. Right? Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, Thank God. One more, one more, one more. Woo! I have that Sonic guy legitimately, like, replying to me on every tweet I made for, like, a week. 
I've had Sonic fans a few times get all over me. And they say stuff like, I've watched a YouTube video about how much Sonic sucks, and that's where I got my opinion from. You know? It was crazy. Do I have enough money yet? How much was that worth? Fuck, man! Wait, I failed it? Wait, 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 did I fail? Wait, I didn't get it? I didn't pay attention. How did I fail it? Time? Okay. I killed the last guy! Oh my god, dude. Okay. I'm, I, okay. Yeah, all right. Do people really get that triggered? I mean, sometimes. I said the guy that ran, uh, Explain Alpha Red was kind of, it's kind of weird. And he blocked me and made a couple tweets about it. Like, I wasn't trying to be mean, I'm just like, it's a little weird to reply to somebody's, like, he's replying to every single tweet he ever makes. And, like, that's, like, his Twitter personality, you know? And it's like, like, you're trying to get a following off it. And I was like, that's a little weird, you know? But I'm pretty sure he's young. He or she, I don't know. Whoever it is. They. Uh, they're young. Um, so, like, you know, it's fine. I don't know. I don't know how, how Alpharad deals with it. I would just get so annoyed. I already get annoyed as shit when I'm like tweeting about something and somebody's like, Hey, can you give me a full description of exactly what you're talking about? Can you explain to me personally what it is? You're literally on the internet. Go to google.com. You know? I don't know, dude. And then you've got the other problem where once you hit a certain uh, following point on Twitter, you can't just tweet anything you want because somebody's always trying to get you for points. Especially when you're a check mark, which I understand. Check marks are awful. Don't get me right. Oh, you can't block it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Check marks are terrible. I just have it because I need to for like, you know, so people know I'm real, basically. I don't know why sponsors care, but they do. This you show screenshot of Cody liking Lola Bunny fan art. I hope that that's you comes up at some point. Oh god, it's gonna be something awful. And this clip is gonna be what what shows up, and it's gonna have the the fucking the 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 curb your enthusiasm music. <laughs> I don't think I've done anything worth that. But I do think that that's you would be funny if it was me talking about, like, Candy Kong, you know? This you Cracker Barrel clip. Yeah, exactly. That's probably the closest thing, you know? No! Okay, I... Dude, the grab doesn't fucking work. Oh, man. Check marks are generally pogging. Yeah, check marks are kind of corny. Uh, back in the Smash 4 days, like, there were so many fucking people in Smash that were, like, begging for check marks every day. It was really embarrassing. It's like, dude, this doesn't do anything for you. And, like, they were doing it unironically, you know? Like, it was actually a status symbol. It was just really obnoxious. And it was, like, back when Smash Twitter was still small, so, like, they had, like, 13k followers and wanted a checkmark. It's like, ugh.
Have you tried playing Would You Rather on stream for content? I don't know what that is. I know what the game is, but it, like, is there like a platform for it or something or what? People get too attached to their media profile. People get too attached to everything, dude. People get attached to their online presence. They get attached to the media they consume. They form their entire identity around the things they enjoy. I don't know. You know? Be a person. It's okay to like shit, you know? Would you rather is basically press the button? Yeah. Basically, you're right. I want to do another press the button stream at some point, but I want curated ones. Like, ten that I pick. Instead of actually random things. Because there are a few really funny ones we didn't do. I'm pretty sure that was a thing before the internet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. People just getting sort of consumed by the media they consume, right? To the point of unhealthy obsession. I don't mean like Trekkies or somebody that, you know, has a... that likes something. Nothing wrong with liking stuff, bro. You start harassing strangers on the internet or sending people DMs. Leave me alone, bro. I don't want to talk to you. You know? <laughs> Trekkies were the exact example I want to use. Yeah, but I mean, like, if somebody likes something, a lot of Trekkies are, like, you know, just successful people with, who, are, who are geeks. That's okay, you know? You just like something. It's okay to like shit. Nothing wrong with that. Just when it's unhealthy or you're using it to validate really shitty behavior, you know? That's all. I, mean, I go to Smash tournaments, you know? I get it. I like I like I like gaming competition. I think it's fun to watch. You know? And I kept that shit a circuit uh circuit. I kept that shit a secret at my old job. Nobody knew about that shit. I'm not telling nobody shit. Dude, dude, hit the person on the ground. I was talking about this in the Discord, and uh, one thing that's kind of interesting is the legacy. This has nothing to do with anything we're talking about. Well, maybe a little bit, but... Isn't it weird that Content Cop has created, like, an entire wave of YouTube, sort of a commentary subpath for YouTubers? You know? And it's weird because, like, Content Cop itself was fine, but now it's created, like, an entire, like, community of people trying to get people by any means necessary, you know? YouTube assassins. Yeah, exactly. Like, now it's created, like, an entire wave of, like, 18 to 19-year-old kids who grew up watching iDubs, and they're like, I want to get people, too. You know? And it's, it's like, it, you don't... Why is everybody doing that? The original videos were fine. And they were well-researched, and they were good. Why is everybody trying to do this? Is it really worth it, you know? Yeah, the idubs, the, the slurs and the, the word thing was just sort of a, uh... I don't know. He was trying to be edgy at that time, right? And that was the, the way to do it. Maybe he was trying to farm an audience. I don't fucking know, but... Yeah, that got a little strange. We need a content cop of content cop ripoffs. There were so many, though. You know? These people do anything to feel accomplished, you think? You think it's like validation because you're taking down somebody bigger than you? Okay, I've seen people theorize like that's the whole, like, what canceling thing is about, right? You're taking down the beast. But I feel like in some capacity, it's got to be 
in some circumstances, it's a good thing, right? Because it's it's people being able to have any semblance of power instead of just being told to eat shit because this person is more influential and ostensibly valuable than you. You know, they're more important. So it's kind of nice in, in theory that people do have that power to sort of enact change. Obviously, uh, in practice, that's not what happens, but, you know? It's complicated. It helps with accountability in theory, yeah. It's just, I think a lot of people don't know where the limit is. Which I guess is the problem, that's always the problem, right? People going too far with shit. Are there still a lot of Leafy knockoffs, or did that stop being a thing? I mean, Leafy just sort of raised a generation of commentary YouTubers. And the problem is you can't even talk about them with a wide swath, because some of them are pretty good, and then s most of them are awful. Oh, dude, I love this one! I love this this character. The one with the leg, yeah. Thank you, Barden. I don't understand cancel culture. People are humans and people make mistakes and no need to blow up over it because they influence a lot of people. I mean, it's a fine line, right? It depends on how... It, it's, it's just like anything else. People can make mistakes. The mistake doesn't really matter. It's how you respond to it, right? So if somebody is genuinely sort of repentant and they're like, I shouldn't have done that. That was bad. That was awful. I think there is a reason to do that. Um, but I think that's... I think apologizing in the first place is usually the wrong thing because I've seen genuine, honest, real apologies and then people still just pick it apart because they just want to hurt somebody, right? So it's like, is apologizing even a good idea, you know? That's the problem. But the problem is cancel culture is such a shitty... Yeah, Ryan's... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, cancel culture, it means anything from, like, saying the F slur... 10 years ago because you were mad at somebody to literal sex crimes in 2021, you know? It's, it's... They're not really comparable, you know? But it's all, it's all circumstantial. It all depends on the situation at hand because everything has more details to it, you know? The masses don't want redemption, they want destruction. And not always. I mean, like, it it really depends on the community, you know? Um, although I will say I don't know any inst I can't think of many instances off the top of my head where people weren't sort of burned at the stake. But I don't know. I'm not serious. Come watch it. Wait. We're going to the subway? I thought I was at the beach. Oh, it's Destroy Man! Oh, never mind, let's fucking go! Hell yeah, I love Destroy Man. Okay, I thought it was the beach lady. I thought it was the grenade chick. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I loved her. But I like Destroy Man. Drew Gooden is the only one who I know that got forgiven. That's the other thing, as a comedian, it's like, if you're trying to make people laugh or say jokes, you're at extra risk, right? Because part of doing that job means sort of uh, subverting expectations and sometimes saying things that you probably shouldn't. It's like, oh shit, I've been trapped, you know? Is there a ball here? Depending on what kind of comedian you are, obviously. If you're fucking Gallagher, then you're not trying to offend anybody. Not on stage anyway. Apparently he's, <laughs> he's a bad person off stage. I don't know. What did Drew do? I never heard of him being cancelled. I think he just dropped the F word. I think as a comedian fighting against cancel culture, you're fighting for the right to say jokes that aren't funny anymore. Sort of? I don't know. I, I think it's, um... It's a complicated thing. Uh, I, I, I think you can make the argument that, like, as a comedian, your joke is just to make people laugh, and if people aren't laughing then you're not doing your fucking job. Stop trying to take a moral stance. If nobody cares or laughs at it, don't do it. But, you know, these people are sometimes still really popular, so there still are people laughing. 
And I think that just sort of speaks to how fractured things are, you know? You know what blows my mind? And I, I, I've, dude, I know this comes up on stream all the time. Delirious by Eddie Murphy is still on Netflix. How many people have watched that? You know what I mean? How many people have watched Delirious, like, randomly? They've turned on Delirious, and then they turned it on, and in the first ten minutes, they're like, Oh, fuck! You know? <laughs> like, man! What is Delirious? It's a, uh, it's a comedy special by Eddie Murphy, and the first fifteen minutes is just crazy homophobia. Insane homophobia for 15 minutes. It's crazy. And that's just on Netflix. You can watch that right now. Destroy, man. Come and get some. <laughs> that's so tight. That's so fucking tight. I love I love the intro to this stuff. Yes. It's just so weird, you know? It's comedy, who cares? The whole point is I'm joking. I I think in again, in theory, yeah, that that's sort of the ideal. But I think the past few years have sort of taught us that like a lot of people aren't joking. You know? I think it's naive to think that. But I do think I, I will say I maybe I'm giving people the benefit of the doubt too much. I do think a lot of people who fight for that right genuinely don't have hate in their hearts, right? They they're genuinely just sort of trying to do something that they feel is idealistically sort of pure and noble which is being able to defend unfunny jokes but it's like you know just saying that but there will always be just morons who are empowered by it right and then it becomes it's like it's hard to know have you seen dolomite is my name no but i hear it's good i've never seen it The I'm just joking can be used as a Schrodinger's asshole thing. Well, that's sort of the, the issue is like, it's, it, especially on the internet, it's like, uh, it, everybody used to be ironically racist, right? And then it's like, not ironic anymore. And then you get into stuff where like, if I drop this, right? It's being ironically racist. I'm the butt of the joke. Right? Because I'm being stupid, but it's still, like, kind of... It depends on how far you go. You know what I'm saying? If I'm playing... I, I So I had an idea, right? I was going to play Dong Dong Never Die, right? Which is a game... It's a fighting game uh, that was made in China. What is he doing? Oh, he's jingling his keys. I was going to play Dong Dong Never Die. And the joke that I had was... I'm playing a game from the mystical land of China. <laughs> You get the joke, right? So, it's ironic racism, right? I'm the- I'm the butt of the joke. I'm silly, because it's a Chinese game and I'm playing that sound effect. But, it's- is it- you have to find the line for yourself if that's okay or not, right? I think it's kind of funny. But- and I don't really think it's hurting anybody. But, I could see why people would be mad at it. You feel- you get what I'm saying? You're not the butt, though? In my mind, I am. That I'm I'm the dumb one for doing that, right? But I think in other people's mind, it's the joke that, like, oh, those are all the same. So it's also how people take it. You know what I'm saying? It's like calling a Scottish person Irish. Maybe. Uh, that's... Uh, yeah. It w would it be racist to confuse Scottish people and Irish people? N It gets complicated. That's sort of what I'm saying, is there's so much, like... There's so many layers and pieces to it. And then there's also the issue of, like, there's... It's sort of sensitive right now around Asian people because of all the shit going on, so... Internet is a minefield, I get the message. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's get off this. You guys get it. You get it, right? You get it. We can... We can move on. <laughs> Internet bad. Truing. Yeah.
God, I love subway levels. Yeah, I'm definitely playing Dong Dong Never Die sometime soon. I was gonna do it Wednesday, uh, yesterday, um, but it didn't end up happening. How did this happen on a No More Heroes stream? This is how the stream usually is on gameplay that I don't have to be fully mentally present for. You. This happened during Metroid Prime too. It's like we just talk, you know. I think a lot about this shit. I think a lot about like media and sort of how people consume it and blah blah blah, you know, shit like that. And I like having a chat that's small enough to actually talk. <laughs> I like this emote. I like having a chat that's actually not like 80,000 people so I can actually talk and like we can have conversations, you know? What you talking about? Hold on, we gotta get rid of one if I have Wicked. Hold on. Uh, I can get rid of... Oh, God. What do I drop? Don't you have 11 slots? That's on FFZ. Not on BTTV. I can get rid of thanking, right? For sure. Like, we never... There are so many thankings. People don't use it. Oh, I'm getting rid of spooks. Knock spooks. I'm getting rid of that one. Knock spooks is gone. Goodbye. No more ghosts. Maybe Halloween. I'll bring it back. Thanking is diet Pepo G. Yeah, basically. I love Pepo G. I love it so much. I just realized how similar this is to Let It Die. With the, um... With the axes and shit. You guys remember Let It Die? God, what a shitty game. What a piece of shit that game is. Same guy, right? Yeah, I think it was Suda. Let It Die was like an interesting idea, but it just sucked. It was cool, but it was so bad. I think the idea of like paying to have a life in the game is really neat, right? It's almost like the arcade thing, but in practice, it just didn't work like that. Have you played Killer7? I played a couple hours. I didn't really like it. Like, I feel like No More Heroes is perfectly at that sort of crossroads of, like, fun and weird and silly. And I feel Killer7 was, like, too artsy and weird, you know? Let It Die was the social experiment of No More Heroes. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. It was just sort of similar, but with other pieces. I feel like No More Heroes 3 is gonna bomb, dude. That game is not selling shit. I really don't think that game's gonna sell at all. Oh, what? I didn't know that your stamina was tied to... Oh, when you're out of mission... That's neat, okay. Unless he gets in Smash? Pfft. Come on. Come on. Sweet. <laughs> Come on now. No more heroes has never sold, but the recent ports will help three a bit. How did uh how did one and two sell? Like comparatively. I have no idea. I know it's always been like small, but not I didn't know how small. Thank you, Jesso Hug. The last Smash guy has to be crazy, right? Because it might be the last 
Smash character in Ultimate. So it's gonna have to go crazy. It can't be a meme. But I don't know who else it could be. Like, would it be Jonesy? Chief? Like, who? You know? Goku? Ugh. I, I know it's stupid to say. It sounds annoying. I would be legitimately mad if Goku got released. Truly. Because that just opens the fucking door, right? This is the end! What? What's the power I have here? I don't know what's happening. This looks exactly the same. I think it was super slow. Though. If I have to deal with Negan and Tekken, you can... Isn't Negan shitty? If Goku comes out, he can't be shitty. Goku literally can't be bad. If Goku is bad, you're gonna have pri What if Goku comes in, he's bottom 10? That's a legitimate problem. No more patches after, either, because the game's over. So Goku just comes out, and he's awful. Like... You know? Dude, I'm hitting Y. They already have a bad DLC character. His name is Banjo. Dude, I'm so sad about Banjo even still. Every time I think about it. I wanted Banjo for 20 years. I really did. I wanted Banjo so fucking bad for so long. And when he came out, I was on the copia. I was like, you know what? It feels like he's always been here. This is a normal Smash rule set. Or er, move set. He feels like a normal Smash character. I love him. He feels like he's always been around. And then you realize how fucking hard it is to play him against anybody good. Because he's so fucking simple and basic. Ugh. God. Five stages of grief. Actually, yeah. My bargaining was like, well, maybe I could still just secondary him. I'll just play Wario, Wolf, and Banjo. And I'll sometimes use Banjo for fun. God, no. I'm still so sad about Banjo. Now I'm thinking about it. Stream has been derailed. I'm gonna cut the stream. I'm so sad. What if James Bond finally got in? Would it be Daniel Craig James Bond? Or would it have to be Pierce Brosnan? Right? That'd be... Alt skins? You get Sean Connery? Fuck! Who is it? Sean Connery? Sean Conway? What, what was that guy's name? I forget what his name is. There's another guy. Who's the... Roger Moore? That's the guy. I'm trying to think of all the bonds. What if they put in Knockout City? Dodgeballer! <laughs> wow. The people who own Bond are super idle about only letting the current Bond be shown. Wait, really? That's probably a licensing thing, though. That makes sense, because, like, if I'm Pierce Brosnan, 
Like, I don't know how much money I ask for if they want to put me in Smash. You know? I'm mashing. It may surprise you guys, but I'm not, like, putting much thought into this. I'm, I'm mashing the buttons. I would love it if it was a show for a flavor of the month game that would be dead in three months. As the last Smash character? Like, they put all their bets on it. They're like, this character is gonna from a game series that's going to just be taking over the landscape in the next few years. And then it fucking dies. It's a fall guy. Oh. That's funny. Like arms? Nope. Arms is based. Arms is very based, as we all know. Arms sold well. Come on. I put in Voodoo Vince. I don't want Dante. Dante is going to be bad. He's just literally put there for low tier players that want to jack off about how smart they are. That will be Dante's purpose. Oh, I can't believe you beat me. I had 500 APM and I switched to the to the dual guns and then I switched to the katana and then I switched. Shut the fuck up. I win. Oh, dude, I knew you were going to do that. I tried to read you, so that's why I input this and then I did. I don't care. You died. I don't want Dante. I don't want Dante. No way. Oh, that's impo- never mind. The Chad Jigglypuff player? Fuck yeah, dude! Fuck a APM! I win, because I'm smarter. Wait, if I die, do I have to go all the way back? They wouldn't do that, right? No way. They wouldn't make me do that. I want a Katamari character. How would that even look? Or Spike Seagull? Spike, like, from... from. Shy Guy for Smash. I stand Shy Guy. No way you mean Spike from Cowboy Bebop. Right? No way. Surely that's not what you mean. <laughs> and you're dropping down to an even Come on. deeper circle of hell. So, how are you feeling, Travis? Your head feeling better? I don't know. Relieved yourself lately? Maintaining proper oral hygiene? When you're ready, step inside. Sora is... Some people say it's important Ugh. to... Leon would be sick. Out. I'll give it up for Leon. I'll give it up for Ari. What would a Katamari character... Like, a cousin? No, what would he like even that. do? Don't accept defeat before the first punch has even been thrown. Hello. Put John Cena. Home? Dude, did you got did you guys ever see the uh hold on, let me find it. I love this fucking image. This image leaked for the garden of madness. Hold on. Is it over? Okay. This image leaked before MVC3 came out. I fucking love this image. <laughs> and it didn't happen to be true, but I fucking love this image so much. My friend said, he was like, I'm gonna have three John Cena's on my team and their names are gonna be Hustle, Loyalty, and Respect. It looks amazing. It looks so good. It's so fucking funny. I would have killed for this. But sadly, we didn't get it. I don't know why WWE didn't make more video games. Like, goofy-ass games like that. Like, not Marvel, obviously, but like... They could have done so much shit with, like... Bizarre franchise usage, like they did with, with that Wrecked... Wreck game? What was it? They made a Twisted Metal game, which was very funny. 
You can't play it anymore, though, because it's not as funny now. Because Chris Benoit is a character, and my friend and I were playing, and it's like, Chris Benoit is on a rampage! And we were like, oh! Can't play that on stream. Oh, God! That's not, it's not funny anymore. Like, oh, no! <laughs> but hearing uh, Jim Ross say Twisty Rockets was very funny. John Cena was in King of Fighters All-Stars. Oh, was he? That's pretty good. I hope so, dude. I would kill. Chris Benoit's on a killing spree. Yeah, I- it's- ugh. It's- it's funny, but it's not funny. But it's kind of funny, you know? Was it Crush Hour? That was the one. Yeah. There's a cartoony WWF game for the 90s, but I think it's terrible. Oh, I love that game. WrestleMania the arcade game. That's great. I thought I wouldn't make it here on time. Why is he a mailman? Customers that file complaints. My apologies. So much to do with so little help. <laughs> yeah, I can't stand these. I love this guy. With all their nonsense complaints, they think they can just say anything. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm here. I made it on time. That's the important thing, right? I take it you're Mr. Eight. You? You're ranked? Not me. Well. Actually, it is me. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Never mind. He has no blood on him. How do you do that? But first, I need some time to get ready. Would you mind turning the other way? I need some privacy. Privacy? Yes. I need to prepare. Whatever. Don't mind me. Pretend I'm not even here. I just need you to look the other way for a second. A second? Yes, just a split second. I don't think it's too much to ask. Do you? <laughs> then we can get on with our fight? That is correct. All right. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, damn it. This guy Whoa, rules. That was close. For a second there, I forgot that you were a killer. Sorry if I scared you. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? I My bad. Guard down. Getting sloppy. I gotta stay on my toes. You mind if I ask you something? Yeah, what is it, Mr. Cosplay? We're both assassins, right? Why do we have to kill each other anyway? If you ask me, it's absolutely meaningless. It's about determining who's best. That's what it's about. Can't argue with that. Well then, let's get started. What? You wanna shake hands? We're both fighters, aren't we? Not killers. I love destroy man. This is a sign of sportsmanship that we respect each other before and after the fight. Good luck. Likewise. Destroy Spark. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this guy. Oh. This guy rules. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Is this guy an idiot or what? <laughs> is this a joke? You fell for the oldest trick in I've the I've been playing this game for 10 oh, years, man, and it's always confused me why so Travis says cosplay oh, like that. I was wondering that, too. Man, you really cracked me up. I feel like the TF2 medic <laughs> didn't ever... He never saw that word before, you know? <laughs> Seriously. Cosplay. I, think I might really die from laughter. It hurts. Someone help. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. I thought I was gonna die there. For real. <laughs> and look at you. <laughs> You're dead. I guess it's time for a wake up call. Destroy Pow! Destroy Pow? Destroy team! This is where it gets good. How is Travis not dead, actually? Destroy! I don't remember it sounding like that. Holy shit. That was quite a move. I'll admit you've got a <laughs> If Challenge had a taste, you'd be quite delicious. <laughs> Fight for the seventh? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, Bring I love this on. game. I love a challenge. Okay. You're as good as dead. My favorite... Uh, character in this game is. Oh, 
I forget what his name is, what boss it is, but it's the one with the big robot. What? That still hits? Okay, it lingers. It lingers. Let's shake. Dude, I love let's shake. Yeah. We did it, uh, we did it back in the day, in the Brawl days, we did a No More Heroes, um, power ranking for Brawl. And I'm pretty sure I was let's shake. I can't remember. I might have been Destroy Man, actually, which is more accurate. Let's shake is two? Oh, really? That sounds more like that's, uh... That sounds more like it's, like, a timing thing. Like they ran out of time, you know? Right, let's get the help. Good. I wonder what would happen if somebody tried to enter as Destroy Man. Would anybody catch it? No way, right? Uh, who wants to be a superhero? <laughs> what if Stan Lee is a huge Zuda fan? Oh god. Oh, you can block that? <laughs> Dude, come on! Let me hit you at some point. This guy has to have multiple faces, right? I think he does. This is slow. I'm not doing this right. This should be faster, you know? Okay, yeah. I thought I remembered that, but I wasn't sure. I fucking love this guy. Wait, how do I? Do I have to get him to shoot? Yeah, okay. Now Very helpful for the cutscene to show me that. Thank you, Suda. Oh god. So did any of you guys ever play that other Suda game? Shadows of the Damned or whatever? That game sucked. It was really bad. The EA one? Yeah. The whole game is a big dick joke. The game is, is bad. It's not good. It's just a big dick joke. I don't think it's EA's fault. The game has all the the cycle. I feel like working with Suda in general is probably a fucking nightmare, right? Dude probably has an obsessive creative decision, uh, a creative vision that you don't want to have to deal with. Suda's other games are also garbage. Yeah. Lo what? Oh, I got knocked. What's that game? Lollipop Chainsaw? It's also not good. I played it all the way through. Not good. Who 
to put out this and two. Those are the only two good Suda games. Some people like Killer7. Those people are wrong. The game is artsy for the sake of being artsy. It sucks. He did the spin-off. Wasn't that like Travis never dies or something? I heard that game was awful. My friend played it and he said it was super boring. Travis strikes again. That was. Was it that bad? The big problem with this game is how fucking long these fights are. Because I don't. Is there a way to get more hits in? Like, and do this faster? Because I feel like there is. Do a lot of damage. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I wouldn't even think to parry though, because like he doesn't do many normal attacks. It's all this like special shit. I don't know if you can parry that. I'm so scared of that move because that'll just kill me. I'm pretty sure that'll kill me. If I parry. You can parry anything, can you? He's almost there. This takes a while. I bet the speedrun of this game is really fun to watch. Right? Like, you've never seen the game before. And... Oh, dude, he was staggered. Fuck. Oh, no. I can't run around him in a circle. Oh, you can just block. Okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought it would go through the ship. What? No! Okay, I'm good. What? Ooh! Hot juice! I have no idea how that happened. Looks like he's gotten really good at this. I don't know if that's... I don't know if I'm really good at it. It's just... Oh, no. No way. Are you... That's insane. That's insane. That's in fucking sane. Are you kidding me? Surely we start at part two, right? No. Okay, that's- I just need to do that. There. That didn't even do that much more. Okay. It does a lot more, like, over time, at least. The problem is he just keeps doing moves into moves. So he doesn't block that much. Okay. Cuts. <laughs> okay, he didn't do that move before. Jesus, that big whoosh? The problem is to get him to block like he doesn't always block. 
He seems to block really rarely. I tried to parry it. I'm gonna parry it. Okay, that wasn't a parry. That wasn't a parry. I'll parry this next one. Does that... That didn't... I'm parrying it! I did. Okay. I'm not doing it anymore. I swear I'm doing it. Yes, thank God. Okay. More. Why not do a big charge with that? Because then I gotta recharge, you know? I don't think it does enough. Let me try. Maybe if I do it in the middle wall, I'll charge or something. Get him to block, but there we go. Thank you. Sheesh. Sheesh. Is he not in a blocking state after combo like this? He is, but not in a way that you can actually do anything. He's blocking in the like. That's literally what he's doing since, but not in the gameplay sense where you can knock him, you know? There we go. Woo! Okay. Oh, twice? So wait, speedrunning this seems obnoxious, because you just need him to block. That sucks. I'd have that whole animation. Oh, I got him. Okay. Don't cry like that. You're a killer, aren't you? Help. What? Help. I can't hear you. Help me. Why is Travis so mean, bro? What is Poor this guy. Fear from a seventh ranked killer? Whatever. It's over anyway. Please help me. There you go. So fucking violent. I love it. Oh, that only gives you 10k for the 777? That kind of sucks. Okay, got one. Phew. What am I now? Seventh? It says I'm rank eight, but that was no, now I'm seventh. Yes. Yeah. Good. This game is cool. Back to the chores and grinding. I mean, come on. You gotta have pacing, right? You can't be up all the time. Hey, when I hit number one, you better be looking your best. No need to pretty up. I want you to see me for who I really am. Serious? Damn. <laughs> That's the whole cutscene. Good cutscene. Damn, only at seven. I feel like I should be higher. Well, I guess two is. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Thank you, so in love. Thank you, thank you. You spent a lot of time on the no-hit missions. Not that long, right? Four hours in. That makes sense. Yeah, the, the sites say, like, it's, like, ten hours, I think. 
Will this be on YouTube? No, no, no. My channel would die. This is Twitch only, baby. The video you reserved is here. Title is How to Please a Woman in Bed 101 Part 3. Sounds like 103 then. The girls here said that you might need a new pillow cover for this one. You know, just for protection. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the 7th UAA rank is now complete. As always, we have faxed you some information about the ranking. I'm trying to remember who everybody else is. Please transfer the money into the designated account. There's grenade. Thank you. And have a bad nice girl. Day. Bad girl's my favorite. Number one, who I remember. Don't remember the rest. Don't spoil it. I'm curious. I don't remember who else is left. Let's shake. I love Bad Girl, dude. Bad Girl is so tight. She's the best. She's my favorite. Hmm. I love Bad Girl and I love Jean. Jean is like my favorite design. I fucking love Jean's design in this game. Is this no, this isn't the game with the with the old lady in the shopping cart. <laughs> that's two. Rude Buster? No, that's Delta Rune. What the fuck? Bad girl's coming back? Oh, is she? Damn, dude. I didn't know that. Good for I wait, she died! Right? Did she not die? I don't remember. Destroy Man also coming good. Okay, so I definitely killed Destroy Man. I, there's no question about that. You know? Travis Strikes Again revived her? What? This series is dumb. She came back as a dog? Like in Mars Attacks? Just like her head on a dog's body? I'm trying to think of who else Kursmark is in this game. I have no idea. I know in the second game you start at like a hundred and then you fight that football guy with the <laughs> with the cheerleaders, right? Fill up cars with gas. Sure. I like the second game a lot. I remember it being exactly like the first, though. I don't remember any differences. As opposed to a game like Bioshock, where it's like, I clearly remember very distinct differences between one and two, you know? Second game is no chores. Oh, really? Just straight boss rush? It's kind of neat. Fill up the gas. NES mini games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Now I remember. Yeah. Three, two, one. This song. Oh, what? My bad. This is. Am I doing it right? It says I've only filled up one car. Sweet. What? Sweet. Don't undershoot? Yeah, I feel like if I go... If I go slightly over, it works. Oh, it could be anywhere above the arrow. Oh, I've been trying to land it on the arrow. Yes. I'm stupid. Got it. Yeah, wait, it's not plugged into anything. Where's the gas coming? Okay. He's like a kid. It's like a toy. Yes. 
This game has Dead Rising vibes where it's just jank as fuck, so it's interesting in a weird way. Yeah, I played Dead Rising. I wanted to play more of the series if it wasn't so fucking, like, tedious. You know? Dead Rising is fascinating to me, particularly, like, the, um... Like, the, the, the boss fights are really interesting. But... I cannot be asked to play it, you know? Did I play two? I know I played through and beat one, and it had the worst final boss I've ever fought. I think I played two, right? Or did I not? I don't know if I ever did. I think I did. There was a tiger fight. Yes. No? Is the tiger in the first game? Tiger fights in two. Yeah, I played the second game. I don't- I didn't beat it. I did not beat it, and I don't remember why. Wait, did I beat it? Maybe I did. I don't remember. I love that it's not infected, just a tiger. <laughs> a normal fucking tiger. Dude, this is a hundred thousand dollars, right? Yes. Is it four thousand per car? Oh, I think it's two thousand per car. This game sucks. You quit Dead Rising 2 because of the stated tedium. Oh, really? Did I get bored? Sounds about right. 50k. No bad. I might be able to, uh, get the money quick, though. Brand new free fight mission could be selected. Free fight mission. I gotta go, uh... Hello, I gotta Robbie. go train, too. How much is this? 3k per kill. Dark side mode is activated. This one's 5k for, per kill. 5,500! That one's 90k?! Do I want... I'll do the 90k. Or, I'll do the 5,500. 5, Here we go. May you find your car? Let's play some Jet Set. I do want to play Jack Ryan Radio soon. Don't know when, but that'll probably be after this. Baseball minigame, though? The baseball minigame's not bad. Come on. Baseball's fun. I feel weird calling it Jet Set Radio. Because, like, you know, it was Jet Grind Radio when I played it. And I feel like I'm betraying my childhood. For weeb overlords, you know? Will you play No More Heroes 2 on stream? Probably not. Maybe much later. Coney is the face of a pro baseball player. I used to be really good at baseball. I was, uh, I played pitcher. I did first base. I did a bunch of shit. I used to be very good at baseball. And then I played one video game. Whew, bad idea. I used to love baseball video games, too. Mike Piazza Strike Zone for the Nintendo 64. Ken Griffey Jr. baseball game for the Super Nintendo. Big Paw. What didn't you do? Uh, lacrosse. I fucking hated lacrosse. My dad was a lacrosse teacher. And he, he tried so hard to get me to play lacrosse. And I hated it. Okay, three. I should have done the 90k. Should have done the fucking 90k. Ugh, whatever. Stupid. My dad wa so I had a weird batting style. So I, I'm right-handed, but I bat left-handed. And my dad once was like, hey, you should try batting like this instead. And he taught me a different way to do it. And I struck out every time I was up and I cried. I 
I cried. It was really sad. Yeah. Because I was a very consistent hitter. I was the, um... I would always be the fourth batter. Yeah, that's the right one. So you put, at least this was what they told me, you put the fourth batter on... The fourth batter is your best batter. Because the idea is, if you get a base hit with the other three, the fourth guy can bring him home. Uh, and so I used to... I was the fourth hitter, because I would always get a hit. But my dad taught me how to hit the ball. He tried to teach me a different stance, and it didn't work. And then I cried. It was very sad. And then he tried to teach me more lacrosse, and... That was cringe. I hate lacrosse. What's the stance? Welcome. The stance. The if I I wish I had a baseball bat. Hold on, let me show you. I need a long object. Hold on. Okay. Where's my pointer? I used to have a pointer. I have the slide whistle. Okay. Here's what you do. So the the goal here. With the stance, so you so it's slightly lower, but you're basically at the end. It flares out at the end, so you want to get around that, right? And what you do is you put all your weight on your back foot like this, so it's a little turn. And what you do is you hold it like this, and then when you push, you push all the way through, and you have to follow through with your hips. So it's like a this. You don't use your arms. You don't do this, okay? This doesn't do anything. There's no power. What you do is this. You go like that. And you get your whole body and your shoulders and your back into it. And that's the whole thing. And you lean back a little bit so you get a little bit more power. Okay? That's what you do. Now how to pitch a ball. Toad is the ball. Toad is the ball. Okay? What you do is you hold it like this. You lean back a little bit. You gotta lean back a little bit like this. And as you lean back, bring this up. Bring your leg up. Pull back. And then with your hips, again, use your hips to get the thing. You can you can side throw, you can sidewind it, but that's not I'm not that kind of guy. You can sidewind it, or you can you 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 get the whole motion. So it's like this and then like that. But not like this, because I'm using my elbow. You have to do your whole arm. Okay? Whole arm over. There. That's how you play baseball. There. Happy to help. And then to catch the ball, just don't be afraid of it, pussy. Everybody's afraid of the ball. Everybody's like, Ugh, it's so hard. Don't hit me. Man up. Let me do the 90k mission. 100 and dude, 100 enemies sounds like a lot. I'm gonna die. Dude, it's weird when I think about the fact that I stood there and let other children throw a ball across the plate at me. And I didn't think they would hit me. I wouldn't do that now. As an adult. How did I do that as a kid? I was taught to almost punch the ball with your palm, then squeeze. Really? Huh. I miss playing baseball? Me too. I fucking love baseball. But I only loved being at the bat. Anything else I fucking hated. <laughs> or throwing the ball. Throwing the ball's fun. There's a real visceral feeling you get. You're made of rubber when you're a kid, basically. Dude, uh, when we were in Tennessee, Juliet fell backward and she hit her head, like the back of her head, on like concrete. And it made an ungodly sound. It was so fucking scary. Um, it was so sad. And she, yeah... And it's so scary when it's a baby, right? But babies just do that. After like two minutes, she was fine. She was she was like easily consoled. We checked her pupils. They weren't dilated. She didn't get a concussion or anything. But it was so scary, you know? Three, two, I did get made fun of for running funny in baseball, though. I run funny because I've got fucked up knees. I'm knock kneed. I don't know. A true Coney fans would know that. But yeah, I've knocked knees. So I run a little funny. And I don't run very fast. But I always got a hit. Tony, running stream? No. You might get a bike riding stream if you're lucky. 
I have the opposite of Noctis. What? So you're bow legged, right? Being Noctis sucks, dude. Backseating Cone down how to ride a bike? Not like that! Cone, you have to pedal faster to get any balance. When we uh when we were in Michigan for Big House, me, TK, and EE were, uh, rented scooters to see what it would uh we rented some scooters to like get around town so we could like go to uh, Shake Shack and stuff. I for the life of me could not stay on the scooter for longer than like three seconds. And I called them and asked for a refund. This is not a joke. None of this is a joke. I got the... I, I put like $25 on the scooter. Because I was like, oh, I'll use this all weekend, right? And then I couldn't stay on it for five seconds. And I emailed their support team and I was like, hey, I've actually got messed up feet. I can't do this. Can I have a refund? And they were like, yeah. I can't scoop. I did get my money back though, so. Who's the real sucker, you know? That's what you get, tech startup. Actual children do it? Dude, I'm a fucking adult who never had, I never learned the skill set. I'm sure it's not hard once you're able to do it. I can rollerblade really well, because I did it a lot. I used to go everywhere on roller blades. I was sick. Children learn languages mad easy too, you know? Mental plasticity goes crazy. Dude, it's kids are nuts. I was going through a book with Juliet, and I'm like, where's the pig? And she knows what pigs are. She knows what ducks are. She knows what dogs and cats and all that shit is. And it's crazy to me because she can't talk. She can't say any of these words, but she knows what they are. You know? It's bizarre. The only words she really uses are daddy, kitty. When she wants something, she'll say thank you before you give it to her. Like she'll point out and say thank you because she wants to say thank you like you give it to her. But she doesn't say thank you really. She says do do. It's very cute. Um, she has a lot of like things she, like noises she makes and we know what they mean, but they, they're not words. But yeah, it's very cute. Doesn't say mommy? No. Doesn't say mommy or really mommy. But I think it's because she's around Mallory all the time. So like she doesn't have to. You know what I mean? She doesn't like why would you say it if she's always on you, you know? Does she ever say ah? Not often. She says E. If she's mad, she E's a lot. No A's, only E's. It's crazy watching kids learn. Wait, what? Are there two up top? There better not be. Are they down here? Okay. Dude. Is it not gonna load them? What the fuck? Dude, what? What is this? Okay, yeah, okay. Does she crawl or butt shuffle? Oh no, she walks, brother. She's a year and a half now. She walks a lot. She's starting to run.
It's great. Runs are the scariest? Oh god, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, running is a little scary, because, like, she might just wipe out, you know? And she's so tall that, like, she might just be... I, I don't know. Like, she's so lanky that, like, if she trips and falls, she's coming from a high height, you know? It is neat, though. Watching her, like, get older, grow up. You know? It's nice. I would recommend a kid to anybody. Regardless of background or income. Have a kid. They're like a best friend that relies on you for everything. And they have to love you, right? So that's kind of nice. It's not like they can't. You know? I know. You want that what about life? mental state? Kids will make any mental state better. Or any relationship for that matter. No question. Captive audience, yeah. Good idea, Coney. I'm going to a bar and finding someone to have a kid with right now. Send pictures, please. I cannot imagine having a kid at, like, when I'm, like, 24. I meant of the kid. You got... Okay. I meant of the kid. Like, cute kid pictures. You... You people... Okay. Come on. I can't imagine having a kid in my mid or early 20s. It's got to be a different experience. Because, like, by your mid or early 20s, it, well, actually, it's probably just a circumstance of the time that we're living in, this generation. But, like, you don't have your life fully stable yet. You know what I'm saying? With the life that we live right now, it's, like, it's hard to have everything figured out in, like, mid-20s. It's impossible. Like, how the fuck, a lot of people just, with the way society is right now, you know? My wife and I are waiting till we're 30. I was 31 when Juliet was born, and I'm happy about it, but I wonder if I'm going to regret it when I'm older, you know, because I'll be 60, she'll be 30. And then it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's like, I probably won't ever see great grandkids, but that's okay, you know? We'll probably all be underwater by then, actually, so who cares? Ronnie. I'm 23 and my father is 60. Damn, so he was what, 37? Yeesh. I mean, I'm sure there are pros and cons to it, right? It sucks for women that you have to, like, you're actually on a clock, you know? That's awful. Dudes, we could just be like, I, 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 I kind of, today I will have a kid. Had a kid good. Your great grandkids will be shitheads who won't understand your humor anyways. I, I don't know if my daughter's going to understand my humor, dude. I feel like if you've never seen an episode of The Simpsons, like you don't get it, you know? Like you have to, have to see what, what? You can, you can dig? I feel like at some point, where the the whole like hyper irony of the internet is going to go in the other direction, and one generation is going to be aggressively earnest, you know. And at that point, I'm fucked. I am at the beach. Are you coming? Not like I am waiting for you or anything. The new hot stuff being earnest. Exactly. That's the new shit. Being sincere all the time. Being upfront and vulnerable and true with your feelings. Hmm. 
sounds lame? Kinda. Most people just assume you're stupid. That's the problem. Will comedy die then? No, comedy, you can be a sincere comic. I think that's just, what does that look like? Sincere comedy? That's just Jeff Foxworthy. Right? I was gonna say that's like take my wife, please, but that's not really true, because like that's like tongue in cheek. America's got talent comedy. Yeah, you know, like that's just that's like uh that's like airline food. Who are they trying to keep out of these things, you know? Observational humor. Well, no, I guess that's ironic because they're not trying to keep anyone out of it. Damn. Where does irony end? The beach. Is this the... Oh, this is the grenade lady, isn't it? Is she at the beach? She is. I love Holly. So there's Holly... Rub some oil on me, will you? Me? You serious? What? Is there a problem? No. Holly lets Harry, Your next bad girl. Is here on this beach. I'm only missing one. Uh, just up ahead. Who's the fifth one? So I'm supposed to fight on the beach. That is one of the conditions. Why? That's for you to figure out. Mm. The grandma with the giant cannon? I thought she was in two. Hidden talents? Do you have, Travis? Oh, well. Huh? Go any higher, and I will kill you myself. Not until you become number one. The puzzle have boss. Deal, remember? So hurry up and go get him. Yes, your highness. Bam! <laughs> Peepo stare. <laughs> Turn around. I am looking. Have you guys been keeping up with Mr. Block you? What the fuck's going on? He's gone weird? Yeah. Extremely. He's lost his fucking mind. Did he beat the trolls yet? Nope, it's a constant battle. He keeps using the word among usly. Like he'll be like honestly, but instead of honestly, he says among usly? <laughs> it's such a weird bit. It's such a weird bit to keep doing. Like, it's kind of funny, but like, he does it all the time. Among Us Lee, that's not that bad. It's not, it's pretty funny. I'll give him credit for not resting on his laurels, you know? He didn't just do the, the same shtick over and over. He's trying something new. I'll give it up. What? This dude's running into the fucking ocean. Yeah, the guy has gone insane. But don't tell him that, because he'll call you a troll, and he definitely will block you. I just randomly binge his shit, and I'm like, what the fuck happened to this guy? The internet, it's so crazy how the internet cared about him for like a week, right? The internet is brutal. What are we talking about? Mr. Block you! 
Too many trolls, yeah. One man, it's it's too much for one man to bear. If only he had an, an army of troll blockers, troll slayers. TikTok is a platform that will produce a lot of one-hit wonders. But the platform is kind of designed for that, right? How do you maintain somebody's attention? What the fuck? Is the helicopter, is the, helicopter the target? What? What do I do? Do I go up? What? Wait, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Oh, I see. The gain is the target. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. I thought it was the helicopter. I thought the gate would open once I finished the fight still, you know? Okay. How do you maintain somebody's interest on those things? Especially as we prepare for, like, a new generation of content creators that are getting raised on this shit. Like Aiden Ross, you know? Like, there's gonna be a whole lot more people. Oh, wait, where's the raid? Where's the raid from? Thank you, Scott Falco! Thank you, thank you! Hello, hello! Welcome, everybody! Welcome! Yeah. And the content gets suggested to people that aren't necessarily interested. I don't know, dude. I heard that the uh, TikTok algo is sick. I hear it's very good. Hey, he's over here. Mallory keeps getting cute baby videos because, of course, she does. She loves it. Thank you, Scott Falco, for the raid. Hello, everybody. Among Us Sleep. We're playing uh, some No More Heroes 3. 2, 1, 1. <laughs> We're waiting hey, for three. It is fun to say. Try saying it. Say it out loud right now, not in chat. Just say it out loud to yourself alone in your room right now, among us, Lee. Guys, I, I'm being sincere. I'm being sincere. This isn't like a joke. Press one if you did it. Please don't type anything if you didn't do it. Press 1 if you did it. I honestly want to know who did it. Did you guys actually do it? Not a joke. You guys actually did it? Okay. I really did do it. Well, obviously, I'm fucking... I, I obviously did it. I'm streaming. Okay. It's fun to say. It is fun to say. It is one it is one of those like things that I probably will keep saying by accident. You know? I won't even be thinking about it. It's just it's gonna come out. I'm gonna be like, oh fuck. Isn't this a minefield? Where are the mines? Okay, I definitely didn't hit a mine. But... Yeah, this is on PC. The port sucks. It's very bad. But I like the game, so we're suffering through. If you guys had not had the opportunity, I highly recommend giving, uh... Giving, uh, his, his Twitter a look. What's bad about it? There is no way... What? what? How could I have known? The audio is really bad. There is no way to quit the game. Like, in the game. You have to Alt F4. They did not add a, a thing to quit the game to Windows. Yeah. Subula? No, we can't. Subula is a sometimes treat. We can't do it too much. Subula is now resting. For a while. Could you imagine if every stream we did that? He needs his rest. 
every 100 years. Is he holding a submachine gun sideways? I guess it's a fully automatic pistol. That would be obnoxious? Yeah, I would immediately regret ever doing it if I had to do it every stream. Every fucking stream. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so fucking dumb. Fuck! Oh, that's true. I forgot to tell Raiders about the sub goal. Raiders, listen. I'm gonna level with you. We're at 1223. I've seen that 1224 on that counter for weeks. Weeks. It's right there. We are so close to hitting that goal. Chad doing Coney shilling. Listen, I can't do it all the time, you know? Earn your key. Oh my god, thank you, not has zero. Thank you so much for the sub. Putting us. At 12.24 out of 12.25, bringing us just one step closer to the ultimate goal. See, it's funnier when it updates faster. It'll happen. It's not easy to show. That's what I'm saying! Oh, wait, no, I got decayed. Never mind, it is 12.24. Never mind, I got decayed. We're at 12.23 out of 12.24. Apparently, that sub didn't count. I think not has his prime was declined. What a shame. Yeah, but that just means it's even easier for somebody else to take it. And Steven Devera right there with a nice resub. But as we know, resubs do not count toward the goal. They simply don't. The number not go up. Yep, whether it's DJ Wheat or Count Subula, no matter what. We're just one step away. Could be any of you. I'm almost subbing out of spite. Listen, if I get one more sub, I'll stop doing this. If I get one more sub, I'll stop doing this. Because I actually am really close. If I just get one more, I'll stop doing this whole thing. I'm telling you. Just have a little faith. Oh, I'm at 1225. It updated. That's what I mean, though. If I get one more and go to 1226. No, if I get to 1226. That's what I mean. Thank you, Thundercat. Ah, it's a resub, though. You know what that means? Doesn't count. Disney adult alert? Nuh-uh, you guys. Nuh-uh. I'm an adult that likes Disney. That does not make me a Disney adult. And I don't even like Disney. I like the parks. Come on. Chat, did you watch the Lion King remake? Be honest. Younger members of chat. Actually, I want to ask this. Zoomers of chat. Anybody 21 or below. Did you get the hype about Lion King? Did you give a shit? I feel like it is it's it is only for us. It's only for the millennials. You know what I mean? Like, that movie was specifically made so that old people like me would bring their kids and be like, oh my god, I love this when I was your age, right? The original or live action? The live action. Like, when you, when, as a Zoomer, when you saw the live action linking, were you like, oh, I get why they're doing this? Or was it just like, why are they remaking this old shitty movie? You know? It just looks so bad. Only saw Aladdin. Dude, Mallory said Aladdin was good, and I wanted to leave him. I was- I didn't even see the movie, but I was like, no, I know it's not good. I'm leaving you, and I'm taking our daughter. I'm gonna give her a better life. <laughs> You know, it's funny, I can't make that joke to her. If I made that joke to her, she would cry. 
Uh, poor Mallory. And your new home will be in the flaming tombs of hell. She's a sweetheart. Okay? Has that sharp pain in your neck? Bladder in a bind? Have you trimmed your nose hair? When you're ready, step inside. You know, you've been quite cocky lately. Cookie. Well, I love that they set this up specifically so you have to walk a long way, you know? God, this lasts forever. Tony, you can finally up your style on stream. Oh, God. Dude, I'm looking at the at the link that you sent me. I can see it on the link. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's this! Yeah! How much? Only 150? Wait! 150 for 14 karat gold? That's a steal! Bro! It's not bad! View the lookbook. Yes, please. Damn, dude. Is that real gold? Yeah, and that's sapphire. This is real ruby. Damn, dude. That's onyx. Sheesh. That's crazy. Sheesh. That was pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Buy it right now. Stop it. No. Never. Not on stream. Come on. Cannot sheesh? I'm literally sheeshing. I'm sheeshing right now. Also, somebody said I don't know why they're making uh, live-action versions of animated stuff. One, for the money. Two, uh, because it is an update on the IP, right? It's to, like, maintain it in some trademark or, like, a legal thing, right? Something like that. Shoosh? Shoosh! <laughs> what is a shoosh? Shoosh! Shoosh. Buy this one instead? <laughs> what the fuck? Why is the Xbox One so much more expensive than the to Sonic or Tails or anything? Huh? What the fuck? What else do they- They have a PlayStation One? Sorry, there are no products. Okay, well. God of War? Bro, you can get the serpent necklace for $60. Sick. Nickelodeon? Oh my god. I really thought these rappers were going crazy. But no, you just got a, an $80... Auto rocket necklace. Come on, bro. What's MTV? Sheesh. That ring? Rick and Morty. No fucking way. <laughs> A gun? <laughs> the portal gun? <sighs> Ren and Stimpy? Those look awful. Why is Xbox the most by a lot? <laughs> Reptar. <laughs> What's the most expensive? Right? Is there a way to sort that? It's the Xbox. It has to be. Holy shit. Can I sort by... You can't sort by... Pri Here we go. Oh, look at this price. For fine jewelry. Under 50, 50 to 75, 75 to 100. Really? Dude, I would be suspicious if I bought that Xbox One. After looking at all this, 
everything else is $150, and that Xbox One is 10 k I think you're you're fleecing me here, brother. 3K for death row. A goat. A son for 4K. King of the apes. Oh, man. That's sick. That's a big, that's a sheesh from me. Sort high to low. Was that an option? I didn't see it. Oh, I'm stupid. High to low. Xbox, Death Row, Sun. What's the cheapest? Oh, just 80 bucks, yeah. It's a sheesh for me. Hell yeah. Powerpuff Girls are only $100 each. Perfect gifts from Mal and Juliet. I get Blossom. Blossom's my favorite. I get Bubbles and Buttercup. Dude, did you guys read the Powerpuff Girls script that was going to be on CW? Good lord. Thank you, Wee Snake. You know what, though? Listen, a lot of people are shitting on them. I get what they were going for. I really do, you know? It's weird, but... Nice try, you know? You know? Can I get a true? Can I get any trues? Surely I can get one true. Please. Come on. Come on. There it is. Thank you, Scooper Boop. Perfect. Yeah. I knew you would agree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. Do you like fighting? Yep. <laughs> Do you like killing? Live for it. I love Holly. Do you like fear? Can't say. Never felt it. Do you accept death? Death? Never crossed my mind. Death is the only truth. You are still a mere butt. That's not a good thing, you know. Seeking meaning in everything? Especially killing. That's a bad habit among smart little girls these days. Come closer what? and you will understand everything. I'm ready. Anywhere, anytime. Just your ordinary assassin. Such a disappointment. What kind of accent is Are this? Are you in the mood yet? Normal assassins don't shoot the shit like this. They see their target and kill them. What do I do here? There's definitely mines. Okay, never mind. There's just a trap. Never mind. Let's see you get out of this predicament. No problem. My bad. You'll see. I forgot. Oh, I died. A bud that will never blossom. All right. My bad. Good night, my sweet seven. I'm extra dead. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, crap. What? I didn't die. What the fuck? Is Travis Ethan Winters? How is he not dying? He's like made out of rubber. Maybe I can steal a kiss before I steal your life. We'll see about that. What the fuck? Oh, I love this song. What the fuck? I don't remember that attack. Stop! Stop! It's my turn to fight! No, come back! Come on! Let me out! No, I... Come on! Okay, I don't remember this. I don't remember this part. This is so annoying. I remember liking this character. She, she better die in one hit. This character better die in one hit. I swear to God. I, she was standing right in front of me. This is so fucking annoying. 
I okay, she pushed me in. I am disappointed. I thought you were strong. She yeah, I can't get out. Until she moves, I can't get out. I'm soft locked. I literally can't get out. She keeps pushing me in. I'm literally soft locked. Dude, I can't move! This is insane! Please move! Wait, I got out. I got out. I wiggled like crazy. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I... No, how come... Stop coughing! No, she covers them back up? Oh, you can't block them. Okay. All right, I get to play. I get to fight. No. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay, I... I did not remember this fight being like this. I... This is insane. This should kill her instantly. Wait, can I knock her in? She, like, got scared of it. Why can't I hit her while she's doing the fucking stance? Okay. She's literally wide open. She's just standing there. I hate... The, the way this game functions pisses me off. Okay, I just got blown up out of it. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. If I can just keep her locked here, maybe? Maybe she'll just not move? This is good. Thank you, Kip. No, 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 no. Don't kick it. Oh, wait. That's okay. Hell yeah. This is good. This... Think you can attack to reveal pits? Can you? How would that even work? Stop! Stop coughing. Oh my god, you're right. Okay. Alright, it's a pretty quick fight. It actually is a pretty quick fight. This isn't so bad. I think. Okay. Coney Rage is not a sub emote? It should be. I have slots. I definitely should do that. You can't make fun of me for being mad unless you pay me for it. How many slots? A bunch, actually. Can I knock her in? No, right? How many do I have? Let me look. I have... Eight open slots. Yeah. Okay. No, we're absolutely... No. That's moving. Enjoy it while you can. I have eight slots open. Oh! Oh, I meant to say this. Guys, I couldn't have announced this officially yet. Because I'm still working on it. Um, guys, 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 so today, which is the 11th, oh no, tomorrow, uh, yeah, 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 so in, in 30 minutes, the Coney Game Jam is next Thursday, okay? I think it's next Thursday, that's what I think we're gonna do. I'm trying to get HyperX prizing. I want to get three prizes, first, second, third, okay? You guys have until Thursday to make a game. Even if I can't get prizes, we're still gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to get prizes. What is the Coney Game Jam? Great question. I'll show you. I'm making an image for it, too. 
There's a game coming out for the Nintendo Switch tomorrow called Game Builder Garage. It's it's literally just making video games on the Switch. Uh, you can make whatever game you want. We're going to have everybody make a game. Uh, they might be derivative. I don't know. Hopefully, somebody can make something good. Uh, and we're going to have a game jam. And whoever makes the best game gets a prize. I don't think you're getting three entrants. I'm actually worried if I get too many entrants. What if I get like a hundred? I doubt it would happen, but I would have to play through them all, right? What if I get like a million? You know? Is it sub only? Kind of. I probably won't play it if you don't sub. Because come on. I mean, come on. You know? If I open it up to non-subs, could you imagine how many games that would be? Especially because I'm going to advertise it, you know? It's a zillion. Like 10 more? I was, maybe I'm vastly overestimating how popular this game is going to be. All I know is that the Animal Crossing fandom is crazy, and they will show up in any stream to get certain characters, so... That might be who I'm dealing with. I don't know. Animal Crossing fandom is my, my baseline. I should blow herself. Thank you, mustache legs. I'm buying Game Builder Garage because it looks so fucking... Even if I don't do... Like, even if the game jam doesn't really work, it's still worth it. Because it's just... It's grab bag on the Switch. That's incredible. I also need to do a Dream Stream at some point. I've never done it. No, I've never played Dreams. I've always wanted to. A Dream Stream would basically just be grab bag, right? Like... But I guess more directed. We can, we can have a better idea of what we're about to play, you know? Come on. Gotcha! Take that. Wait, doesn't she come back in two? Am I making that up? What is this? This is not mercy. She's dead. You can't okay. kill a woman. Pathetic. If you can't kill a woman, you are. You Michael Scott the announcement and say best game dev gets a scholarship. Coney's tots. That's okay. I seem to have a thing for stupid, pathetic men like you. I can accept defeat if it comes from your hand. I will let you in on a secret. Assassins must die when they lose. Open your eyes and never look back. Promise, never forget me. Huh? Thank you. The moment you hesitated, I felt your eyes. Hold up! Academics like to fantasize too, you know. <laughs> Wait! Number six! What? No! I forgot that's how she died. Forgive me, number six. I never meant to shame you. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, that did happen. Not yeah. a very smooth victory, Zed Travis. Yeah. But a win is a win. Is a tiny grenade, yeah. I hate to award you this, but you are now sixth in rank. Sixth place! What was her name? That is not important anymore. You're right. But I owe her at least that. Holly Summers, born in... No. Just her name. <laughs> okay. Travis is so goofy. Oh, I don't remember this. Do I bury her? 
Why do I have a kick? Why do I have a kick move? Why do I have a kick move? U.S. military secret? What? It was just here on the beach? All right. Forgive me, Holly. I was late in saying this, but I love your soul. <laughs> Rest in peace. Based on what? He had a kick move for the one treasure box. No, he didn't. I didn't do the kick there. I want you guys to know that. I hit the A button to open the treasure box. The kick didn't open it. That kick did nothing. I don't know why they coded that in. <laughs> huh? If Travis discovers Tinder, he's screwed. It's so bizarre. Oh, chest for the maximum vitality? I guess so, yeah. I did kick that. No, you're right about that. Good call. Man. Great game. Hey, this is Diane from These Head Videos. Um, you're late returning one of our videos. It better not be how to it's please called, a woman. Um, coffee and milk. That's fine. Please return it ASAP. Have a nice day. Mr. Touchdown, please wire the money as soon as possible. Please hurry, or something unfortunate may happen. How much? In addition, the registration for the sixth UAA rank is complete. We look forward to hearing from you. Three hundred and fifty K, good lord. Alright, let me save one more time just to be sure with this shitty port. I don't know. Oakley Dokley. Good game. Great game. That's it. That'll do it. Now I gotta watch some tweet gameplay. Don't think I have time to, to check on the babies. Uh, I think I gotta do this panda thing. Yeah, no movies tonight. I gotta watch Smash. I gotta record something for panda. So we're not watching anything tonight. Sorry. But I'll be back uh, all this weekend. I'm streaming a lot this weekend because of E3. If you guys want to know the schedule, it is on my Twitter. Uh, I'll be on for various conferences and stuff. So, Are you watching Tweak vs. Sinji? I don't think so. Let me look. Uh... Let me look. The two sets I was assigned are Tweak vs. Leon and Tweak vs. Syrup. So versus Bowser and versus Ness. Woohoo. Why not watch it with us? I mean, I can if people want to. I could if people want. Sure. Why not, I guess? Oh! Mm. Let me ask Josh if it's okay. I don't think he'll care, but... I gotta kill 30 minutes for Game Crush to come out. <laughs> Let me see if it's okay with Josh. Oh, Josh might not even be up. Let me see. I don't think Josh is up. I think he went to bed. All right. We'll sneak it. You can still stream and turn off the TV if you're concerned. No, it's not that. It's not the TV. 
it's uh you know we said to do it off stream but i think that was just like you don't have to stream this you know like it's not a big deal and like now people know that we're doing it so it's fine it's probably fine coney better be fired i don't think so I came up with the fucking idea. If I get fired for... I wanted to watch Diddy Kong. Because he's an interesting character that only, like, the really good players are using. You know? Diddy Kong is, like, the caviar. I'm gonna say this again, but Diddy Kong is, like, the caviar of ultimate characters. You know? You only use him if you have a... Have a... Have a certain je ne sais quoi. You know? Diddy Kong is a monkey. That's true. That's accurate. Okay. What is this? Oh, Tiltify. Um, yeah, fuck it. Let's watch it. Let me tweet about it so everybody that says there are no analytical commentators, I can actually... <laughs> I can actually point to something. Thank God. That shit was so annoying, dude, when everybody's like, oh, nobody on... No Smash commentators know anything about the game. No, we know shit about the game. You just want a walking encyclopedia all the time. So fucking boring. Actually, this move comes out on frame three, and if he does this on frame three, the other guy can bait it. Yeah, shut the fuck up. You have to make it interesting. So annoying. And when people are analytical, they don't even get appreciated because they're not analytical all the time. You just want a gimmick. You want somebody that's a gimmick, you know? I think a lot of the HBox criticism was not paying attention more so than analytics versus hype. No, uh, HBox is a very specific style of commentator. Uh, he is he is all noise and all hype all the time, and I think I I think that's valuable. Honestly, I just think he needs a better pairing. I think putting him with um, Mewtwo King was a bad idea. Very bad move. Supremely bad move. Because like they're friends and they're gonna joke around and. Mewtwo King doesn't have, like, the... yeah. When you're on the mic with somebody like that, you have to have the wherewithal to, like, stand up to them and, and own your space. And when I was listening to it, Mewtwo King didn't... And, like, he doesn't care about that, right? When I'm talking about this, I'm talking about this as if he cares about being a commentator. He doesn't care. But you need somebody to, like, stand their ground and be a part of the conversation. And it felt like Mewtwo King was, like, in the sidecar. Like, he's Robin, you know? Like, he's just... He's along for the ride. HBox is very funny. Mm -mm -mm. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry. I'm getting this ready. Yeah, we have Wicked now. Yeah, we got Wicked. Oh, I didn't wake up Josh. We're talking. I love Josh, dude. Josh is is one of my favorite people on the planet. I love this guy. I'm so glad that like working at Panda has made me like work with him more and like he's great. Hbox makes loud equal funny work. True. 
Yeah, he do be yelling in a funny way, truly. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, the two sets we're watching are him against Leon and him against Syrup. Rob. So it's Bowser and Ness. And I didn't watch it, but I heard he got fucked. Good. Or not he, he, he fucked Leon in that matchup. Which sounds awful. Bowser versus Diddy, good God. That sounds obnoxious. Um... Because, like, you get none of the joy of, like, killing a character at, like, 50. Because, like, Diddy's so fucking mobile and obnoxious. You know? I feel like Bowser can get away with just, like, okay, I'll take all these hits. I'll go to 150, but I'll kill you in two hits. Like, with that forward air, you can't. You know? But anyway, I'll talk about this. Are you watching both syrup sets? No, just the second one. Analyzing Diddy Kong. The K Rule video, we thought. What? OBS crashed. <laughs> Where'd you guys go? Who Did one of you guys post an emote that crashed OBS? What happened? One of the video ideas that we floated for K Rule. Uh that I really wish that we did was, uh, it was like, is K rule a secret mid tier? <laughs> Which I thought was very funny, but it also like, you know, I don't know if people would have gotten the joke, you know? OBS browser page. Uh, what? Okay. I think we're good. I got more flame for saying he's bottom 10. It was really weird. Like, what the hell? What are you talking about? Who's that? Thank you, Mooncake. Woo! Big thank you. Root check. Let me make sure. No drip. No drip. No drip. Drink it all. Mmm. Yummy. Root. The performance-based coding beverage, which you can get, use exclamation point root. You can also get it for 20% off with the code Coney20. I'm telling you, thank you, Mooncake, for the five gifted. That's hot. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. Big gifties in the building. Thank you, sincerely. All right. K. Rule is low tier, right? I don't know that much about Ultimate. Yeah, he sucks. K. Rule is, uh, he, he's like... An early boss fight in a video game where he's very scary until you, like, get it. And then you're like, oh, pfft, of course. That's what you do. Okay. So the two sets that we're watching are this one, uh, which is Leon versus Tweak which is about 16 minutes, and then this one, which is Tweak versus uh, Syrup. I'm excited for this. Tweak is actually one of my favorite players on the planet. Um, might be my favorite player. I love that guy. Um, not, like, as a person, like, as a player. I mean, he's a great person, too. Go, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, I'm not, like, mixing this in with personal feelings. Like, oh, he's a great guy, so I love his play. No, his play is, like, just, mm, it's so, it's like candy. It's beautiful. 
But he's also a great guy, and I like him as a person, too. Very fun to watch. What's the consensus on Sephiroth high tier? Very good. Some people are saying top 10. Some people say top 5. Those people are crazy. I think he's very good. Um, he's not crazy, though. I don't think. I wonder... It. I, I think Sephiroth might get better the campier he gets. You know what I mean? The lamer you play with Sephiroth, if people start breaking that barrier, it'll probably be better, but I don't know. Um, the big thing I want to see is Pyramithra, because I think that's a meme character. I think Pyramithra are the new Inkling. I don't think they're good at all. Um, but, you know, maybe I'm wrong. It's Inkling attached to Ike. And people are like, yo, you could... You could go Inkling, and then you could switch to Ike. Like, yeah, maybe. I guess. But then you just play two matchups. Who gives a shit? You know? Inkling is top 15? No, no. We both know that's not true. Get the hell out of here. Inkling is the top of mid-tier. Cringe. I would play competitive, but I'm not that competitive, and I can't handle toxic people. Yeah, you can't force yourself to be competitive. I tried because I used to play competitively in in a. I used to play competitive Smash, and I just don't have that drive anymore. And you can't force it. You know what I mean? Because like I I remember thinking in my head. I remember the, th the having the thought like it's okay if he wins. You know, and as soon as you have that thought, it's like I don't care if I lose. I'm hungry anyway. I'd like to go take a nap in the hotel room. I had an experience where uh, I played somebody at Genesis, and he was, like, popping off after every hit. And I was like, this guy's, like, 10 years younger than me. He's from a different country. He clearly wants to win way more than I do. Why can't he? Just, just, who cares, Zach? Just run into the moves. And then I did. And then I lost, and he won, like, one more round. And then he got knocked out. But good for him. You know? I first heard about you about a documentary about the gods of Melee. What? Why would I be in that? Why was I in that? Wait, what? What happened? What? What? Huh? What's going on? Whole thing just shut down. I don't remember me being in the Melee God one. I was in the second one laughing about the chilling thing. Because Chillin, Chillin and I just started, like, talking a little bit because of PM. And he was just like, <laughs> His laugh was so funny. His la I would, like, go outside after a set and uh, some people would be out there smoking and he would be there. And he just, <laughs> It was very funny. As opposed to, like, Junebug, who's like, <laughs> It's very silly. You were in the crowd for the My B match. Yeah, I was. I was. I got into a fight with somebody there. There was a guy there that wanted the chairs. Like, he he was sitting there for Melee. Like, I think, I think it was because Melee was coming on after Smash 4. And he wanted to save the chairs for Melee. And not sit there through all of Smash 4. And, like, have the seats reserved. And him and I had some kind of misunderstanding where, like, I was like, okay, I'm going to sit here and you're not coming back and getting these chairs because it's going to be, like, five hours later. But he thought I was agreeing to that. It was, like, a weird thing. And then he came back and got mad. So it was a little bit, it was a little bit contentious, but in the end, it didn't really matter. Who cares? Um, I think it was just, like, a, it was, like, a misunderstanding on it, but I probably wasn't very clear. I just didn't think a person would be doing that, like, claiming a spot for four hours. This is a really good seat, like, near the front, but whatever. All right, uh, let's watch some movies. How do we, how do we, what is the analogy for Diddy Kong? I think Diddy Kong is like the rapier of, of Smash Ultimate. He is only used by the finest of duelists. You know what I mean? If every character is a, uh, if every character is a, a weapon, like, Diddy is, like, the one that takes the most finesse. You know what I'm saying? Right? Me dash attack. 
This dash attack isn't that good. His dash attack isn't amazing, right? It's not bad, but... It feels like he's only picked up by really good players, though. Like, there aren't that many mediocre ditties. It's just like Tweak or Aaron, and then it's just like, who's down here, you know? You only play him if he's good. Why do people hate Yoshi mains? Because they sin they sincerely swear they're good, and I I and I genuinely feel this way, and I've said it before. I think Yoshi, on average, on average across the whole cast, has the dumbest player base. I mean that sincerely. This is not a bit or a joke. Now, does this mean all Yoshi players are dumb? No, right? There are smart players of every character, but I think uh, in general, if you are picking Yoshi. It is so you can be stupid. You feel me? Who's second dumbest? I don't know, because a lot of this is shaped by, like, Smash 4. Like, the, my Yoshi opinion isn't necessarily for Ultimate. It's more Smash 4. So, maybe I need to update it, but... Make a tier list of dumbest mains? Maybe. Maybe. We did that for Panda. Like, what player... We did one for Panda, like, who ta who's the hardest to play, who takes the most brain power. But I kind of want to do one that's just like, if you play this character, you're stupid. Nothing to do with the game. You're just a dumb person. You know? But I don't think you can do that anymore. Back in the day, you could, like, draw parallels between mains. Wario players were usually pretty funny. But I think in Ultimate, that's not really true anymore. You know? If, like... Most Wario players in Brawlin and Smash 4 were, like, funny people, you know? But, like, now that he's good, more people pick him up. So, you know. Sonic mains are a weird cult, but then he was good in Smash 4. So it's like, you know. There's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things. I'm not doing this, chat. Chat, you can't ask for every single character in the game. That There are 80 characters. We'd be here all night. Okay? Come on. Content alert. Content detected. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right. Can we watch a movie? Thank you for the sub, Paxton. I don't know if I said that before. Okay. Ah. Incineroar players all have neck beards. You know what I think it is about Incineroar players? There was a certain type of person that would play Ganon in past games because he was a power fantasy. I think that is now Incineroar. They would play Ganon because he was like big, strong, tough man. Me want to be strong in real life, you know? I think that's Incineroar now. Not for everybody, but... You know? <laughs> what the hell was that? I dropped something. Huh? Oh, I see. I did take this away from Juliet earlier. Okay. Mm mm mm. Boom boom boom. Mm mm mm. It's like set players in league. One of my best uh, friends plays Set and Evelyn. So he's a weirdo. Set Evelyn 2 trick. I think he's like Diamond 2 or 1. I don't know. So he's a loser? <laughs> Come on, that's my boy. That's my fucking boy. He's a Set Evelyn 2 trick. Alright. He's also one of the best herbs players. Eternal Return Black Bastion. What's that called? Eternal Return Black Survival. Is that it? I don't know. Favorite Tetris block? Um, The L. The one with the one block on the side. Who do you want for Smash DLC? Waluigi. Least favorite Tetris block. Um, the the four piece, the block, the brick. Why Waluigi? Because nobody else is. I don't care about anybody else. I would just like a funny character. I think that'd be fun. Okay. 
Let's do this. Um, weapon that takes high skill to use. What weapons take the most skill? Crucible playbook? Oh, this is destiny. What type of dueling weapon took the most skill? A sword? Cringe. Sword and the pistol. <laughs> that means they're cheap. What's a what's a do what's an actual like weapon that takes high skill to use in real life? You get what I'm trying to say, right? Which historical weapon took the Anyone least skill practice? to use? No, I don't want the least. Flail? <laughs> Stick shift car? Monster Hunter, ugh. I don't want Monster Hunter. A flail or nunchucks? Nunchaku, you think? Kusari Gama? What the? I know I didn't say that. Oh, what the fuck? It's like a scythe and... Oh, no! Yeah! This shit! Is this real? This is Axl Rose, right? Yeah. I thought this was a joke. Kunai with chain. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's a scythe. Okay. What are we calling Diddy? We have to call Diddy something. Right? Nunchucks demand an absurd high amount of skill. How hard could it be? Nun. 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 <laughs> Nunchucks. Nunchaku. See, whenever I see nunchucks like this, it's like, you could do all this, but when you hit somebody, they stop. You know? Like, when you hit somebody, it just goes, dunk, and then, and then it's gonna stop spinning. So what's all this for? Shadversity nunchucks? So, before anyone says that this is just some armchair expert talking about something he has no experience in, let me just say that I used to do martial arts, and Holy I actually do have shit. experience in this. So, hear me out, okay? Ooh, helicopter! Ooh. Okay. That was the video. That was, the video did that. The video did that. I did. That was in the video. Okay. Diddy Kong is the nunchucks of ultimate. We're done. We're done. Okay. Woo! Let's do it. Okay. Um. Okay. All right, let's do it. Don't say sub because we're on Panda Global. That's my thing, okay? This video is not going on my channel, so don't do that, okay? I'm watching you. I'll make sub a banned word. Subscribe to the Twitch, though. That goes to me, but don't tell them to sub to the channel. Uh, okay. Okay. We're good. Hello, Panda YouTube! Welcome to today's video. Have you ever noticed how Diddy Kong is like the nunchucks of Smash Ultimate? He's only used by the most skilled players in the game, and really like nobody else. He's a, he's a very difficult art, 
and you could probably get better results playing a lot of other characters. And one such player actually just won a big tournament a few weeks ago. It was the uh, the the Smash World Tour Northeast Finals, and that player is none other than one of the best in the world. It's Tweak, and I finally get to talk about TSM Tweak on one of these videos. A lot of this is going to get cut from the intro, but I'm excited for this. Tweak is one of my favorite players to watch. He has been on Diddy Kong a lot more lately. Diddy Kong, of course, a character that I think a lot of people wrote off at the start of the game, and then they were like, wait, he's got some stuff, and then most people said, okay, he actually doesn't have anything. But now, now they're back, right? A lot of people have uh, sort of approached him again. Any character with a banana will not be bad. Um, I personally, here's the thing. Uh, when I was, like... When I look at character movesets, I think there are some characters that cannot be bad. And I thought Bayonetta was one of them, and I think I was wrong, obviously. But Diddy was another one. I was like, with Banana, with that forward air, with the back air, with the way that he functions, I was like, this character cannot be bad. And I thought I was wrong for a long time in Ultimate. And thank God, uh, somebody came along and proved me right, because I was, I was spiraling, you know? So, we're gonna watch some sets from Tweak, see how he did. Uh, first sets against Leon. I have not watched these sets before, but I did hear about this one, and I heard it is, uh, tough. Also, I was supposed to comment the, or commentate this set, but I was stuck in Tennessee on vacation, and we had bad, uh, internet, so. I understand the hype now. I, I get it. I st maybe it helps out starting with black and white, because I hear that's one of the best in the franchise. Why is he talking about Pokemon? Focus on the game. I hate commentators. But it's all color on your screen right now, baby. Diddy Kong versus Bowser. This is great. I think the, the most hype... So Smashville, small stage. Uh, but you could probably chill under this platform. I feel like that's the goal anyway. To just chill under the platform and then just react to whatever Leon wants to do. Like drop clips and stuff like that if you're regular viewer on the screen too. You know he's been actually doing a lot of things with Diddy Kong trying to get innovative... So before this starts, actually, I talked about this uh, before we started. I feel like this is a nightmare matchup. Reason being, I think Bowser takes like 100, 150%, 175% for free sometimes. He's like, okay, whatever, I'll just kill you later, right? Who cares? Uh, you can't really do that for Diddy. Because Diddy has a banana and he has that ungodly forward air. What do you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, Diddy has the forward air, which pops out immediately. It's disjointed. Um, he has the banana to punish you if you ever try to up-B next to his shield or do anything crazy. Bowser, one of his biggest problems, along with a lot of heavies, is getting juggled. He can't land. So, you're trying to land against Diddy, who has an incredibly fast up-air. He can react to pretty much anything you do with an aerial. It's, it's a nightmare, I would say. I think the, your saving grace is that Bowser is much, much, much easier to play than Diddy. Um... And so you probably will beat most Diddy's just by virtue of him being a lot tougher to play. But against a Master Diddy? I don't know. Compare that to something like Bowser versus Inkling, where Inkling can't jab against you. You take a lot of damage, but they literally can't jab, and then you live to like 200, you know? Inkling sucks! I, I have to bring them up every discussion. That character's a meme. Thank you, Aeon. This character, yeah. and... He does not disappoint. I feel like Bowser is good when I Up he had a shield, like a yeah. Combo target, essentially. I wonder what Bowser can do with banana. I feel like he can definitely do banana forward smash, I'm pretty sure. Going to ledge. Dude, I didn't even think about monkey flip too. Yeah. Yeah, man, because we were we actually saying the same thing about uh, I'm sure a lot of people during that debug set was like nice. Man, to... Yeah, so so monkey flip is really good here because yeah, you man, can. We were, we I guess online you're not really I'm reacting, sure but if he, he trips, people. this will not catch roll in, but it'll either catch or uh, avoid anything else, right? So if he rolls left, it I think it might catch depending on how slow it is. I'm not sure, depending on when he activates it. Obviously, if he does normal get up, it'll attach. Obviously, if Bowser rolls in, it'll miss. If Bowser get up attacks, I think it'll miss. It depends on how low to the ground it is. Um, especially if you do it this high. So this monkey flip is, like, perfect. Um, obviously depends on spacing, and we don't know a reality where he does get up attack, because he does normal, but it's interesting. During that debug set was like, man, how you supposed to, you know, how do you get in on min-min? Like, how do you 
do all this, and he just mm -hmm. he popped off. Yeah. I mean, that was a 3-0, you know? So, a lot of defensive moves. Close banana character means easy up B, yeah. Everything that that character has uh, makes 100% sense of the play style. You take a lot of... Ironically, Bowser usually benefits from online lag. I feel like Diddy... Against Diddy, you actually want it to be a little bit tighter because you need to punish his windows as Bowser. Usually as Bowser, you, you're better with the lag, right? Because you can throw out a big punish and get hit. But I feel like Diddy actually gets more out of this, which is interesting. Usually that's not the case. Hit, you know, you, you live forever, and then you finally find that hit at like 70. Yeah, banana forward air. So. You're living to like uh, 170, we, but... Honestly, right now, if a back air hit him, he might be gone. Like... <laughs> Always the, uh, have to be aware of, like, Bowser just so powerful. Yeah, how do you get down? We Finally, he lands oh, that, and he's dead. Yeah. He wins. Yeah. Close, though. Close. Okay, I was like, hold on now. If he makes this back. Big reset. Big reset. This, but that was smart. Leon um, was way behind on damage. Didn't he want to, like, risk out trying to, uh, you know, get some type of rage tail there? So just nice. Banana over going top. down air. Maybe just messed up the inputs. Spot, right there, he could have definitely know, gotten more. Just kind of getting hammered. Good way to just kind of reset the whole situation. And Really, at least now he's yeah, you just wait. So you just use your jumps. Bowser's not going up there to stop you, you know? Going back for that banana. Trying to just get some footing right now. Like how Leon's I guess you play... Well, you can't even really play around banana because he's going to pull it out and control stage the whole time, you know? You have to you have to preemptively up B, and it's not going to work. I think it'll eat the banana, but... Yeah, and then he just gave up stage with that by trying to go too far. Bowser can't really edge guard barrels either, really. Maybe with flame breath, but still knew what to do after that. Very technically sound is tweak. That's a right now. Leon though, keep it up. Has banana, so and now Leon has to go to him. That was interesting. I'll give it up. I think there he wanted shield more than anything. Because if, if, if Tweak rolls here, he's dead. If he rolls here and gets shield out. So I think he wanted shield or roll or something. That's kind of interesting from Leon. I like that. Or like dash in shield, you know? Really where Tweak just kind of... Yeah, Smart like, yeah. idea, but... I, I'm very much so in Depress, and that's not even a question. Still got a little bit more work for you. Really know you, can you can't do anything with the banana as Bowser. I was wondering so if you could, but like, if you have the banana in your hand and your Bowser, he's staying so far away from you. He's not going to touch you. It'll help him out a little bit, but don't get too antsy. Get scooped up one okay, big side B. Hold on. Like, no DI is going to save you right there. I thought this was a blowout. Maybe not. That's a little bit of a lead here for Leon. <laughs> Yeah, he's... Yeah. Damn, not even close? At 145. That's crazy. No. <laughs> Die. Holy shit, what a character. That's, on, that's nonsense. Should not come that far. Jesus. some very impressive percents right now. Flip kick, boom. He's very Jesus Christ. Because there's a lot of times that Leon's landing in front of him with like four airs where he could get the punish by just that man. Stop shooting the gun. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, okay, finally. Jesus. Yeah, dash attack gets a little bit more. Good flame breath. Flame breath is such a risk coming down, but... Yep, 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 yep. I don't know if that's optimized, but I hate to see it. 43 to 77. That doesn't seem fair. That's 34%. That should be banned. Kind of understands, I mean, those higher percent... Yeah, he got down air into the guaranteed. So when he started that, he was what, 29.2? That's what, 48%? Should not be allowed. Bowser's supposed to do that. Poor character. Yep, throw into the forward air. So check this out. Look at this setup. Banana's out. Banana on ledge, peanut sailing in, right? He goes to ledge. Because of his reduced invulnerability at 105, this peanut will probably hit him. He can't jump into it. He'll get knocked, and then he's reset at the ledge. Probably the best thing you could do, though, although if you do get knocked by the peanut, there's a possibility he can run in, down tilt, forward air. He might get something else out, right? 
Peanut is probably your best bet. Roll on obviously puts you right in front of him, which means anything. Uh, you don't want to get up into banana. You can't get up attack. You can do drop off ledge, grab the banana, but as Bowser, your recovery isn't great. So this kind of sucks. Yeah, and the peanut does hit him because he waited too long. So he just didn't choose anything. The peanut knocks him and then he resets. I don't know what happens after this. Now I'm wondering. Okay, we're down being on stage. A lot of weird stuff, but... Oh my god, huge back air. Diddy just makes you really uncomfortable. There it is again, big setup. He rolls on, but... Did he just forcing a reaction where a lot of characters don't? At least not from that distance. Yep, 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 flame breath. Doesn't kill, though. Wow, okay. I thought it would have more uh, lag at the end, but I guess not. Yeah, they're both just kind of jousting now. Neither of them want to swing. Good forward air. Good shit. Wow, I thought this was supposed to be a blowout. That was pretty good. I'll give it up. Not bad. What if Leon wins this? Oh, God, but there's only 11 minutes left. And this is three out of five. How does that happen? Oh, God. Oh, God. That's like a three-minute game three times. Oh, man. The heavies do have that problem, though. As sets go on, heavies get worse, usually. And that's, like, historically always the case. Usually, not always. Sometimes habits come through over the course of a set, and heavies can exploit them. Yeah, the, he really wants flame breath. Okay, we're not going for the barrels. Probably doesn't work with a certain amount of, like, it, it's probably very tight with percentages. Ah, that's tough. That's annoying, honestly. The fact that you can cover your own ledge there? How many characters can do this? No traps! No traps versus me, haha! Ha ha ha! -ha, -ha. Omega laugh. I get ledge for free! Ha ha ha! Samus down B, you'll die. You just get ledge for free, that's fucking crazy. That's Omega laugh. If the character is hyper mobile, they can go over, but that still doesn't seem safe. Right where it needs to be. Nice. Really hot start here. Yeah, it's definitely looking good uh, here at the beginning, but again, you know, it's that. It's <laughs> Leon is so scared. It's so funny. It's like air dodge, air dodge, spot dodge, air dodge, and I get it. I don't blame him. The hit can come at any time. God, I hate flame breath. A lot of movement options. Yeah, he's kind of fishing there. Together, but and he will no pay for it. The way yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what do you do there? So double nair, together, but uh, back, no back, back, up B. Going high won't work. Going high doesn't work because then you're just going to get back aired again. He got the ledge so much faster. You just die. When did he double jump? One thing I really appreciate, Tweak, is all the combos seem so well rehearsed. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, Diddy is a character that could definitely put them together. But There. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. In case you guys don't know this, a little tip from me to you, Panda YouTube. Uh, there's a little thing that happens when you use your double jump. Are you ready? Watch this. Peep this one. Peep this one. All right. Back air. Watch Bowser's feet. Watch his tootsies. Ready? And... And... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. There. You see this? You see that? See that? That's your double jump. 
That is his double jump. Yep. So he's mashing trying to get out. But Tweak is, of course, going to follow him. Together, but just no I learned this a couple months ago, and I still don't recognize it when it happens. In-game, it's hard to tell, unless you're really sort of focused on it. It's really tough. As casters, we usually can't notice. Because, like, it, it is sort of a... a, a it's a bad player alert when they do it here. In game, you can tell when it happens to you. Usually, not always, but usually, um, it's usually a bad player alert. It's obviously with with online, it's different because Leon like might not have meant to do it or it might have buffered. But offline, if you jump there, you're you made a big mistake. You know, Leon there probably it got buffered or something bad happened, or maybe he hit up with a control stick, or maybe he did just try to mash out in a bad way. But either way, you should never do that. Save your jump. Presentation, the way Tweak delivered, yeah. much like yeah. that down air. My God, man, this ain't even looking close. If you're play, it's weird because if I'm a commentator, I don't notice it. If I'm playing against it, I notice every time. But I don't see it. Does that make sense? Like when I was a competitive player, I could tell when somebody used their double jump, but I couldn't like. It's not because I saw a flash. I just knew. I don't know how to describe it. Right you could just tell once you're like tuned in. You know. Could you anticipate it more as a player? Yeah, it's like, it, maybe it's, it's, I, do, will I see it or not, you know? Because a lot of people do jump there. So you're already waiting for it. What are you supposed to do then? You hold on to the jump. You just don't jump. If you hold on to the jump there, let's pretend that Leon held on to his jump, takes three back airs, he goes high here. The combo's over. Diddy has to reset and he used his double jump, so he has to go to ledge, right? He has to refresh. So he can either side B to get there fast, or he can go low and up B and try to intercept you, but that's a lot riskier. If you're Bowser here, you can go high, and maybe even reverse with a down B if you're feeling froggy. Probably not. Then you could just save your up B, you can air dodge, you can do a lot of things. No just hold jump hesitation. as much as you can. Good lord. Yeah. So that's so obnoxious. Damage. Let me tell you why this is obnoxious. I'd love to tell you. Diddy's holding a banana. You want to shield. Diddy jumps. You don't want to shield anymore. He's not... He's probably not just going to burst forward air at this range, right? You're out of the range of burst forward air. Okay. So you don't want to shield anymore. Why? Because flip kick, kick is coming, right? And he can command grab you out of the shield. So you want to get out. Except, oopsie, it also has a hitbox. Whoopsie daisy. The command grab has a hitbox too. So, <laughs> what's the play, right? Do you sit there, wait for, like he jumped, so you know that he's probably going to flip kick if you're sitting in shield, right? So you try to get out, but he has that. So you're constantly playing Diddy's game. Somebody asked, why didn't he get up attack the up smash? Probably, uh, I'm guessing he input this quickly. Because he either didn't want to get trumped, maybe, or maybe he wanted to pick an option quickly. He can't fight because Bowser has uh, the invincibility for a little bit. So maybe he didn't want to buffer the invincibility and then get hit anyway. Uh, it's probably just an online thing. If you react to that, you take it easy. But Tough. Big up B. You know what's so annoying about Tweak? In a good way. Nine out of ten players here will grab. Absolutely. Nine out of ten players are grabbing here. Because Bowser's back is to you. Take the free damage. It's a setup. Tweak picks... I, I grab here because I'm bad at the game, right? Tweak doesn't grab. Tweak goes for his best combo starter, which is down here. I don't know if it's his best combo starter. I don't play Diddy. Um, but he goes for something to start it up. Instead of just taking a Diddy throw, which will do, what, like 10, maybe? Gets the down air, up tilt. Uh, now Leon's stuck in a position where he has to tech. Which is a blessing and a curse. Because if you tech, you get a little bit of invul uh, invulnerability. 
but then also you're forced into a uh, decision. So he does normal tech, which gets hit by the stalled down air. He's bounced, which means up tilt, right? Oh, no. Okay. I would expect up tilt, but he goes for back air. It doesn't matter. Up tilt wouldn't have hit. Well, up tilt might have hit because it's stalled, you know? Thank you, Blue Wind. Uh, tweak up tilt might hit here because it's stalled because it comes all the way around. I would expect an up tilt, but who cares? Gets the back air, but the combo's still not over because this motherfucker could throw out so many aerials. You think you escaped, right? Because he goes for the back air. But no, he has something to cover that too. Well, bam. Oh, wait, no, he was free. Never mind. He could have shielded. He tried to jump out. This is Leon's fault. Yeah, he shielded. Right? I swear I saw a shield. Yep, okay. Big oopsie. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> anyway, a good lead maybe tweet. Uh, I, I don't really see him losing this lead. The way that he's this right sucks. Now, definitely... How do you approach this? How do you approach this, brother? Your character is not fast. You're not going to run in and grab. What do you do? Uh, I, I, I don't... He's chilling under these platforms. You see what Tweak is doing. Side to side. The way that he's playing right now. He's definitely playing a very, like, uh, punish-heavy game where he, you know, he, he baits you into believing that you can attack him real Big quick. Big up B. Steps back, gets the free punish after, yeah. after whatever you're doing. Big up. Throw. Can't nah, get the up air. Too much rage, I guess. No, don't. You just, you just don't have HBO Max or you can't afford a movie ticket. I don't want to hear it at this point. No. I don't think it's going to pump. One, two, three movies exist, bro. Like, there you go. Better, <laughs> get in here. Did they just advocate piracy? Did the commentators just just advocate a piracy site on an official broadcast? All right, man. Oh. Ooh. Smash commentators, bro. <laughs> this is this is such a Robbie Rotten moment. Like, Leon's like, okay, go for the banana. He did go for the banana. But he knows that he'll go through the banana, and he'll still forward smash. And then he didn't get up at the right time anyway. <laughs> like, it's the right idea, but it doesn't, it just didn't work, you know? Yeah, Bowser could do a lot with banana, but it's like, when are you going to find the opportunity, you know? Yeah, I'm saying, like, honestly, Leon gets a good flame breath here. That's going to be like a nice, like, 34. Oh, doesn't matter. He had his choice of smash attack there. Didn't matter. Yeesh! Nope. There, gets once you start, once Diddy sets up the mind palace, it's so hard trying to get in on the fortress. Yoshi's story. Yeah. Uh. So you know what he's going for, right? This is, uh, it's obviously way smaller, so it's easier to kill. But also, if a situation like the last one happens and he gets spiked, if he's close enough to the ledge, he can just tech it. So he can he can tech the wall. So that's another consideration. Um, but, again, this does not fix your problem of getting uh, Fortress. Because Diddy can just chill under these platforms with a banana. Sweet, and you still got to come in. And now you got to come in even worse because you can't really come in with an aerial unless you time it right. And what are you going to come in with? Forward air? Cringe. Come in with flame breath, he's gonna roll behind you. Tweak probably banned FD? Yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't you? Tweak loves platforms too. So, like, even if that's not a terrible matchup in this, or a terrible stage in this matchup, Tweak wants platforms. Yeah, you see this? He's just, he's teasing. Diddy Kong is the, that, he's the carrot on a stick. Watch this. Forward air me, bro. Forward air me, bro. I'm right here. I'm right in front of you. Whoops. Second jump. <laughs> I have two jumps. Whoopsie daisy. He just wants you to swing. And then when he starts swinging, it's this. The reason Tweak likes this too is because Wario doesn't really play like this now. Because Wario is oppressive enough to just hit buttons and neutral air you over and over. But this is how Wario used to play in old games. Uh, particularly Brawl, which I don't think 
I don't think Tweak used Wario and Brawl. I think he used Yoshi, but... Times that he was just kind of letting, letting Leon roll into him and stuff like that. Still an annoying place, though. Also, that's happened to you, you viewer. This has happened to you, hasn't it? Somebody's just floating around you, and then they use a jump that you didn't realize that they had, and you're like, oh, I'm so stupid. He had another jump. Happens all the time. Particularly if they're playing, like, Kirby or something. That's annoying. Seeing that flame breath coming out, just withdraw the attack. Maybe. Yeah. So nimble of a character. I did it all the time in Brawl when I was actually good. Because DDD had like okay. five jumps. Throw. That motherfucker would bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, Fastest falling speed, too, so you can mix that up. So Leon's doing really good at keeping up pressure here on Yoshi's, which is what you have to do. You know, you have to stay on top of him all the time. The second he gets any kind of distance, you're boned. He doesn't want him to pull out banana. Weird down air, but it worked. That sucks. Leon wanted this. I know that I'm stopping a lot. I'm sorry. I don't get to do this when I actually commentate, talk about the interactions that I think are interesting, uh, which is why everybody hates me and says I'm not an analytical commentator. I'm glad that I get to do this now. Watch this. Gets it. Wants a punish. Doesn't just want a, uh, he doesn't just want a dash attack, right? Because dash attack won't kill. He's going to short hop and go for an empty hot. He, he sees the roll. He knows he has something, but he doesn't know what. Uh, if he slow falls, he might get a forward air. He should get a side B. Uh, he's got some options. He probably gets jab if he wants to be safe. He does none of those. Because it's online. And so Diddy... <laughs> Gets the right in his face. Super yep. There. Almost takes Tragic. I think Leon hits that punish not online, but who knows. Good up smash, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I love how, like, the discipline tweak is. Like, it, it's so easy, like, when you see that percent climb and just kind of just try and force the issue. But it just, it just finds a Down way. Down throw, to up air, up air, up oh, air. Didn't get more, though. Chat. Pop quiz. Easy, like, when you see that percent climb okay. and just kind of just try and force the issue. But it just, it just find, up air. finds a way to just... Up air, up air. It. Tweak could have gone for another up air for more damage. Why does Tweak go for back air? Up air is guaranteed. Why does Tweak want back air instead? Because he wants stage. Yes, obviously. It's not for the kill, because you're not getting a kill. Maybe over time. You want stage position. Because then he's fucked over there. I don't think you necessarily catch jump. Um, because I don't think Leon's going to be mashing jump there. I think what it is is you want to you get to refresh your jump because you get the fast fall on this platform and now Leon's out here screwed. It's all about positioning, yeah. The most and maybe you'll get a down air, but probably not on this stage. Oh, did I miss a sub? Thank you, Blue Wind. I'm sorry. Hey, listen, guys, Smash guys, if you guys are here for the first time, I don't know if you guys notice, I'm actually only one away from my sub goal right over there, 1233 out of 1234. 1234 would be a very funny sub goal to hit, 1234 subs, that would be amazing. Listen, I know I don't stream Smash a lot, uh, so, you know, it's a big occasion. If you're here for Smash Brothers, listen, thank you for coming. I'm so close, check it out, I'm right there. It'd be great. Hey, maybe it'll show up in the PG video, you know? Maybe you'll be on Panda Global. Wouldn't that be famous? Hmm? No, gifts don't count. We both know gifts don't count. I'm going to have to up the sub goal because gifts don't count. It is now 1, 2, uh, 3, 5 out of 1, 2, 3, 6. Doesn't count. A little bit of pressure without getting too antsy. And it just adds gifts don't count. So already at 73%. What happens yeah. at the sub goal? I, it's, it's, a, it's a big surprise. I don't want to tell you too much, but let me just say... You know, uh, 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 I, I'm just, I got, I got something planned with, uh, with a, with a little guy you might know as, uh, the, the, I'm trying to think of what I could, how do, what do you, I tried to make a Sakurai thing. I don't know what he's called. What is he called? I was about to say, I'm excited to bring something, uh, directly to you, but then I remembered, that's Awada, and he's dead. So I had to abort that joke, and I had to go somewhere else. 
Thank you, AppleTart64, with an actual prime. That's incredible. Really appreciate it. Bringing us one step closer to the real goal. Almost there. Leave himself open for even more. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Forward air. Nice. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, primes don't count, though, as you guys know. So I really appreciate it. Prime, I, you know what? You know what? I'll let a prime count now. If anybody else has a prime, use it, and I'll count it toward the sub goal. I don't normally do this, but, you know, I'll make an exception. To be completely honest, I mean, it's really that high up, just unfortunately... Oh, thank you so much for the tier one Iboki vibing. But unfortunately, I just said only primes count, so that doesn't count. So we're going to have to... Oh, that sucks. Yeah, thank you, but only primes count now. Yeah, we're in prime mode. Thank you so much, though. All right, we're just eating combos. <laughs> Listen, I'm only counting primes because primes are free. I don't want to take your guys' money, you know? Good forward air. Jesus Christ, dude. How did we even get here where he's on one stock? Just got hit, dude. Oh, that was it. He has deed. <laughs> Damage. Damage. That sucks. Thank you, Slurpfee, for the big resub. Alas, it is a resub. As we all know. Resubs do not count toward the goal. Sorry. Tremendous difference. Love the way he uses Nair. <laughs> he got away with down air, finally. <laughs> Z drop, yeah. Yeah, what do you what do you do there? I guess you could go lower, right? Could he have teched? He grabbed ledge, he does that. No, he's so far. Yeah, you die. Sucks. Thank you, Satirical Soul, continuing the gift sub you got from not Yemwe, but gift subs, even if they're just continued, still don't count. I'm sorry. Yeah. Has to be a brand new sub. Yeah. You know? But we're almost there. And once I hit that sub goal, you will not believe what I have in store. Okay? It's gonna... It is otherworldly. Thank you, I know. I don't know what happened to Coneybot. In this matchup, I'm putting right now for sure. This far, I've seen, I've seen him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, really? <laughs> Interesting. Now I've seen. This motherfucker went hero. <laughs> That's a oopsie. Right what the fuck? Before. What are you doing? But I didn't think he was gonna whip it out what are you doing here? Big oopsie on that one. I mean, Hero, I feel like he kind of came and gone as far as, like, people, you know, hyping him up. Hero just gives Diddy an opportunity to to pick Banana whenever he wants, does it not? Thank you, Mr. Moo72, for the big prime gaming. Uh, but I did forget to mention, oh, my God, it's 1230. I totally forgot this part. Thank you, Joey Bot. No, no, no. That Guys, I, I misspoke when I said that was the goal. That was yesterday, but actually it's a new day because it's 1230. So, I, I totally forgot. I'm sorry. There's a new goal. There's a new goal every day. And now it's 1230. So, now the goal is 1241 out of 1242. I'm sorry. I forgot it's the new day. Yeah, because it's past midnight. Sorry. Yeah. New daily sub goal. Like yeah. on, you know, oh, no, I feel like the Diddy yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just gets to pick though. banana whenever he wants now, right? Because Hero has to set up the... Um, he has to pick the stuff. Oh, God. Magic burst. Wait! He got interrupted by the banana? <laughs> That's Looney Tunes. And now he has no magic points. He's so screwed. Yeah, TK had the same idea. I did. That sucks. You're drained now. That's bad. Me and TK had the same feeling on that. Oh no. You have no point. You have no mana. You have no mana. Oh. Uh, poor Leon. Man. 
don't know. <laughs> okay. No snoozing. No snoozing right there. He's up B that. Ooh. All right. Dude, up B is so annoying. Some justice. I hate any character that does that up out of shield shit. Pac-Man too. Getting baited out, and Tweak is uh, there for wherever the landing is. Should have a strong. He has. I think he has a strong kid ready, or is this the? Yeah, that was. Down throw, up air. Ugh, D-I-N. Yuck. Twenty-two MP right now, going for the bounce, which is super. Bounce is good. Yeah. For sure. Oh, good up smash. Yeah. Yeah. Tweak again, staying disciplined and. We're taking eighty percent there, so now Leon gonna have to respond again. I and mean, this is big. Like everyone's Down already throw. qualified. That's not the issue here, but still, seating does tend to play a part. Yeah, I mean, just obviously you, you ain't gonna like come that. in here like after playing this hard and just sandbag the last hard. Right. You know? You're gonna try to get these wins. Damn, bro. Hero with the banana actually sounds really scary. <laughs> actually, does it? He doesn't have the range. Is Hero with the banana scary? I feel like he doesn't have range to do anything if he hits you. Dash attack is too slow, right? You would have to, like, normal get up into it. He doesn't have the frame data, yeah. If he has Accelerado, well, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. This is, <laughs> oh, he almost waited out for that, uh, that flame fast. I thought he was going to go more so for the uh, way out there with no MP. Yeah, you're that. Huh? More, more so for the... Uh, Way out there with no MP. He didn't jump. What? No mana? Ju oh, well. Okay, yeah, he has two. So he just tried to up B. He was saving jump. Okay, so he's saving. Okay. He did jump? Did he? Down tilt. Oh, he did jump. I'm stupid. Yeah, no mana. My bad. Thanks, viewers. Just unfortunate. Thank you, viewers. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me know. Panda viewers on YouTube, if he jumped, comment below if you knew. Just tell me below if you knew that he jumped. I don't think that you did. And don't lie, or I'll turn off your YouTube account. Back throw, down tilt, down tilt. Down tilt. Roll on. Did he just forces you to make decisions at all points in the game? It's annoying. I can't get can't get much more than that right there, but you know? This is just a very <laughs> That for tilt. That's mad active. Yeah, he would have got the I think he would have got that kill though. <laughs> like, Yeesh. That was rough. Yeah. Good lord. Okay, well that's that set. Uh Tweak wins. Diddy Kong just forces you to make decisions at all times. It's weird. And uh it it's it's funny because I do think Diddy is better offline. Uh, but I also think in that particular matchup of Bowser, uh, Bowser gets less out of online than he usually does. Second set we're watching is uh, against Ness. Ew, I know. Diddy versus Ness. Uh, on paper, I feel like this is very banana-centric. Because Ness forward air and pretty much any of his aerial shenanigans gets stuffed, right? By, uh, by Banana. Um, PK Fire will ignite on Banana, but you're not really, you don't have it on the ground. You just have it, like, in the, um, you have it in your hand, right? Does Ness forward air eat the Banana? I actually don't know. I don't think it does, right? Banana goes through. Of jumps that tweak we'll see. Able to get away with against Ness, kind of yeah, insane to me. Sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's see if this second. I haven't seen this interaction really at all. Hold on and win this. This matchup is awful online. I do feel like Diddy has to have a certain uh, offline. This matchup is free for Diddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. I feel like Diddy wins this offline. I think online is way harder because I think Ness can just sort of throw out aerials. And Diddy wants to be in the same space as those aerials, and Nessus will win. You know. He crowned the champion. Had another uh, title. Right? I think Diddy is better at this on offline. I don't know if I would say that Diddy wins offline, but I would say it's probably better offline for Diddy, as opposed to online. Still out there, man. He's just playing under covers right now. He got the nightlight on, making it work. That's a real. That's a real gamer right here. 
we all been there. DS open, hear the, hear the door close, just immediately slam that. <laughs> like, y'all been there, bro. <laughs> anyway, here we go. A lot of grounded a, moves from Tweak. I guess he doesn't want to go air to air, which makes sense. Does anybody else have a heart attack every time they see... What the hell is going on with this quality? Turn that shit up. I always have a heart attack when I see this. I've seen it for like 10 years now, and I still am like, Oh, he died. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Why did he SD? Yeah, good flip kick. Again, he forces you to make a decision. Watch the way he does this. Uh, Serp is just watching Tweak here. He goes all the way around. Is he going to drop down with an aerial? No, he doesn't give him what he wants. And then eventually, he has to make a decision. He's going to do flip kick. Dude, he just jumped. And just, that, that alone puts the fear in you, right? He literally just said what I said. You see this? You see what I'm talking about? Commentators are in sync, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, it's... I feel like command grabs in this game are just so good. Like it's it the, the way, like especially with the way that most of them are like they can be used aerial as well. It just it's so nice. It's just Dark triad. Like, oh, you thought what? <laughs> How do you think it would be received if me, TK, and EE called ourselves the Dark Triad for like three tournaments? I was coming down with an aerial. Like it's a grab. <laughs> that's, that's so stupid. So, and it's just change our name for a little bit. Some good damage that Syrup does have on Tweak for the amount of rays that he currently has. Poorly, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I thought that was actually about wow! I'm surprised that didn't kill. All right, Syrup, People right. ignore. Clone, clone good right answer. In this one. 161 banana in hand makes the toss not quite able to hit it. Okay, good dash attack. Now, that was a, a jump read for that up air, but didn't find it. That's going to be easy back though. Great space. And all it always happens. Away. Happens every I time. able to throw out the, the, like, the, the kick to get anything going for him. Ends up taking that back uh, throw. Ooh! Oh, no. Raise the roof. I like that. Nice, great. Good. Yeah, that was sick. I love the drift back. I know this video is about Diddy Kong, but peep this one. Uh, he knows he has to react. He knows he doesn't want to go to the ledge because then he might get messed up. So he does a fade back into the down air. Sick. And then I guess he wanted to do some kind of footstool reset. I didn't know Ness could do that. Not like that anyway out of that situation. footstool to land onto the platform. Like both of them. That might have led to something cool right there. And that the, sucks. The that the sucks. I wonder how practical that is, though. Like, if that's super common, you know? Uh, so this is something that is sort of underappreciated. This is not something that's especially difficult, but it's a really small thing. Uh, so he does dash attack, and he turns around. You see this? It's the reverse aerial. Um, if he stayed fit... Oh my god, look at the... Look at these frames. Doing the spin a Rooney so he can get the back air out because it's faster, obviously. You want to combo stuff instead of just going for the forward air. Uh, the reverse aerial rush back air is very good on Diddy. You want, uh, obviously, like, even mid level players can do this, but being able to do it this quickly and without, like, like seamlessly is super good. Seems to be a very easy, easy Edgar to uh, drop against uh, Ness, so. oh. Can't believe that flip kick was that active. Jesus. Nice. Yeah, forward air will beat that if you just wait it out. The trick versus Ness. The trick versus Ness, okay? The way you beat Ness is the double jump. It's always the double jump. So, you see him do the double jump, you wait for it. He either has to do an empty double jump or he has to forward air, so you just wait for it and then stuff it. That is how you defeat Ness. Every Smash game. Except for Melee. He sucks in Melee. You can just do whatever you want. They're pretty aware that's coming out, but... Right countermeasures. Oh, actually tripping up on his own banana. God, that's so much mobility. Even if you're not getting damage, at least you get out of the PK Thunder. That's sick. Hey, Dakpo, welcome. Yuck. It's still effective. Oh, he could not hit the stage the way he wanted to, actually going under the stage. But still, he's got some good damage here on the tweak, so not bad. Uh, I mean, you know. In case you guys don't know, Dakpo is a uh, Texas Diddy Kong player. Has been a longtime Smash veteran. Great player of this character. Uh, everybody say hi, Dakpo. Very talented Smash player. Longtime veteran. Not the worst loss of losing that stock that early until she does something like this. Big fan, big fan. Conversion. Is Diddy good or is Tweet good? Oh, oh no. I said this in the beginning of the video, but if you guys are just getting here. 
Uh, Diddy is... Thank you, Ino. Uh, thank you for the gift sub. As you guys know, gift subs don't count toward the sub goal, but we only need one more, and then we're going to be reached. Um, Diddy is good, but he is hard to play. Uh, in, in a lot of certain, like, he is difficult to play in a lot of different matchups. So, you sort of, uh, he is the nunchucks of ultimate. In that, he's hard to, to wield, and you probably could do better with someone else, usually. But he is very fun and stylish. Thank you, Top Hat Wonder, but resubs don't count. As you guys know, no, the sub goal is gonna move up. Not quite. Sorry, everybody. All right, tweet, make but we're so close, you know, it could be anybody here. Forward throw. Syrup isn't respecting him. He's he's really trying to force this. Thank you, Xenon. You see the way he's just like... Uh, Syrup is apparently really young. Uh, and I feel like that youthful uh, vigor, you know, that, that energy is like... Diddy has a banana, and he's up basically half a stock, and you're still jumping into him. That's foolish. Young man. What are you doing? Wait for your opening. Stop that, young man. Stop jumping into Diddy Kong. You know? You have to make mistakes like this to grow as a player. Light was one of the dumbest fucking players I had ever seen for a long time. But because he was so good and so talented, he got away with doing dumb shit. And once he got to the super top level, he started getting punished, and he got better and better. He had time where he was, like, struggling for a little bit, but Light's amazing. But Light was, like, dumb for a while, you know? He was, like, super talented, and he could buzzsaw most players, but then he got to somebody who would call him out on his shit. And I think Syrup is, like... Obviously, he got the grand finals here. He's a great player. But I also feel like you can see somebody's sort of relative inexperience. Tweak has so many years in the game. You can kind of see it as time goes on. Just give him really just no open Very talented, Very though. I'm not trying to take away from him. Reckless. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Perfectly covered. Yeah. That's, that's still not enough to put him away. Love what Tweak does. He just comes in Whoosh! High from the oh, I love that. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, this video is about Diddy Kong, but this is sick. Love what Tweak does. He just... Nine out of ten players go for the dash grab and miss it. This kid? What the fuck? How did he know? How did he know? That's sick. That's sick. Look, note, note the fact that my man is now punishing these jumps. Yeah. Bro, you motherfuckers say commentators don't analyze. I'm sick of you motherfuckers. TK is literally pointing that out. Okay. I'm sick of this. You guys just don't notice it because he laces it in between jokes. I'm sick of you dudes. It's annoying, bro. I know it's very surface level, easy analysis, and that there's more shit, but I'm just saying, there's shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We've seen it a couple more times in this game. But There's the a lot of is, like, uh, right a lot of sort of offhand analysis that happens. And then people will say, oh, that's not deep enough analysis. Well, what do you want, bro? You want to go into frames? Come on. The way Syrup plays makes Tweak a little uncomfortable now. It's funny because he's doing what Diddy Kong does to other people. Right, just right outside that dash attack. Watch this. So Diddy, uh, so Ness jumps here. He's forced to shield. And he sits there for a while. So he's like, he's jumping. Does double jump, does magnet. He's trying to get him out. He's trying to get him out. He throws out the back air. He tries to do it retreating. He's trying to hold the other way, but doesn't matter. Tweak comes out at the right time. Well done. Wins the interaction. Right outside that dash attack. Okay. He's, uh, he's getting these hits here. Just hasn't found that last hit. I mean, if he gets another down tilt, nice. uh, I'm sure we're, we're going to see down tilt up smash. You got a mash, brother. Here, Was he mashing there? I mean, if he gets another... He was on him for a while. I'm sure we're, we're going to see down tilt up smash. Maybe down tilt back here, depending on how close he is to the, uh, the edge. Mm. Mm. Good back air. Yeah. Good trap. Trap? I was going to say trick or trap, and then I said trap. Trip. Trap. Track. I don't know. It was sick. 
good for it. Was, uh, I, was, I mean, I, that was... Uh, I think at 130, that's a pretty reliable amount of hits, even if he's mashing. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. I thought it was a long time, but then I, I like... That's the thing about playing multiple Smash games. You get conditioned about all the other games, and when things change, it's like, I don't think that's a long time. Yeah. No, don't respect me. To the next game, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> Smaller PS2. I'll give it up. <laughs> well, hold on now. <laughs> Took us that long to get through one game. I'm sorry. <laughs> I pause a lot. I like this. I like doing this. It's fun. I would do it on my stream more often if I had a place for Smash content, but not really. Well, these things gotta stop for sure, man. I feel like right at the beginning, Tweak knows how to find those conversions off the set of straight hit. Which I, I guess you can't really say like stop getting straight hitted because like that's just going to happen. But. I think it's like, Down you know, tilt. maybe try to get a little Oh my god, good lord. Straight hit it, because like, that's just going to happen. Okay. But... You get the hit. I, I, clap. Uh... Yeah. Double clap. I guess you recognize the second hit doesn't hurt. Most people... Are gonna roll here. Uh, most people... Like, if you see somebody in shield, the options usually jump, because jumping out of shield is so good. But it's sort of a scramble. People want the stage so bad that they'll panic. Like, and he panicked. And Tweak didn't, like, run. He just you know, walked maybe. backward and then turned around and grabbed him. That was sick. Yeah, that's a, that's a panic option from Syrup. And again, like, Diddy just forces you to like, make these to choices. But I think it's like, like, if he's clapping you here, it's like, I, I have to do something. Do I want to go off stage? No, I might die to banana if I try to up B. If I try to jump, I might accidentally burn double jump because the down tilt's putting me in the air. And then I'm going to be screwed. So I have to roll in, and then he got grabbed. Yeah, maybe try to get a little Jeez. Touch. It seems like uh, Tweak is pretty much... You know, he, got the book of, he got the book of syrup on deck. Jeez. What an annoying character! Oh, the banana helped him. Thank you, Pickle! Tweak isn't fucking doing anything. Look at how annoying this is. Watch Tweak. Watch him in point twenty-five. Look at what he's doing. Look at what this motherfucker is doing. Ness is dancing on the side. Watch this. Shield. Shield. Walk right. Walk left. Shield. Grab as soon as he comes in. You just wait for Ness to do something, and then you do something. You know. Down space. Make you take so much damage. You're just reactioning. I was say, man, two percent before you lose stock. That's a little rough. But, <laughs> man, just get a little extra, uh, extra percent in there, man. But unfortunately, really isn't a, uh, really ain't nothing to write home about yet. A one twenty-eight. Look at how long uh, he stays uh, in shield. Really Who is he afraid of? Him. Who is Tweak afraid of here? Look at this. A one twenty-eight. <laughs> Running neutral air? You're gonna get grabbed, brother. That is one thing. Syrup gets very few grabs. That's usually like a confidence thing, yeah, right? I thought we were going to get like a, you know, a delayed up here, but... Syrup, uh, getting a little thumb thumb started for him. Oh, Tweak! Getting out of that with the... Majority of Syrup's approaches are side magnet to falling up air and neutral air. It shows he doesn't have a lot of experience because it's a good approach, but players like Tweak will pick up on it and punish every time. Yeah, it's just youth. It's like once you once you realize one thing that works, especially if it's uh, sort of unprecedented and other people aren't doing it as much. Not to say other Nesses don't do it, but other Nesses don't do it as often. Uh, you're going to keep using it. But at the top level, you're going to get picked apart. Wave that back, basically. I, I, I think maybe that's why Tweak is just holding oh shield forever, God. too. How yep. Yep, it? banana drop. It just doesn't fail. Just interrupt the recovery and have the down air. Boom. Rounds up, ready to go. This is like, this is Ooh, like okay. Right now, Tweak put himself in a terrible sure. position there, but he got every, through it. Pretty much every time uh, he gets, you know, Tweak gets that one, bro. Like, I feel like he needs Syrup to find a way is to like, play like Tweak. throwing a lot of things mad, out, but bro, none of them are landing. I mean, Diddy is just so mobile. Nice I won't say like as nice as Tweak is kind of freestyle on him right now, but that's definitely got some pretty nice strings to find himself some good damage here. Damn! He didn't jump. He didn't throw bananas. He didn't do anything. He just said blast off. Immediate up B. Get me the fuck out of here. Find himself some good damage here. Now he's definitely. I don't think he's in back throw percentage just yet. Unless he's like right at the edge. Doesn't go for it right there though. Yeah, he wants to hold the the center stage. 
four back here. Opportunity, maybe we're gonna for syrup. No, not able to get anything off. Of. Oh, the banana not landing where Tweet was anticipating. Jeez, still able to make it. that's so annoying. So, uh, flip jump is at the perfect distance here to not have lag. If he does flip jump wrong, he's gonna get grabbed. Uh, he might get back aired depending on how quickly Syrup interacts. Probably not. I think it's too slow. But he's got a lot of things. Oh, yeah, he parried it. He could, he could do a lot of things here. But no, because he gets the ledge cancel, he's up in the air. And actually, if Syrup had a little bit more confidence, he could have just up aired him. Yeah, like, coming back. But I guess he was waiting for something. I was anticipating, but still able to make it back safe and securely. Love what he'll do okay, so that does go through forward air, at least on top. Maybe like, not through it on front. It's not really happening anyway. Die. What the fuck? What the fuck? Unforced oh, error there. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. I felt like... I definitely see a lot of the time sir, he's trying to force his, you know, he's trying to force his way back in here. And I, again, I, I do kind of attribute that to the, the young man play style. Like, they go in. Uh, and it, it has worked out for him a, a bit, but I think Tweak is kind of, well, not only is he danced around it quite well, but I feel like he's. Yep, able to side slow, magnet in the neutral air. Uh, just slow it down in general. Thank you, Orange Foot. He's playing it at his, at his speed. Like, when he wants to start going crazy, he does, and then when he don't want nothing to happen. Well, oh, wow. Hey, this could be good. Uh, what the fuck was that? 64? Well, he's chilling. Fire, fire. Re reverse <laughs> magnet. 117. Ew. Ew. He's going crazy. He does. And then when he don't want nothing to happen, well, he's chilling. P.U. That's gross. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Yeah. That's a super die, yeah. yeah that's, oh that's my that's god. <laughs> Look at the baby back. Boy. Look at the baby back throw. I don't think I've ever seen Ness back throw at zero. Yeah. Eh. That's so cute. Look at the. Eh. That's adorable. Here, young man. I hit one of those real quick. Just my eyeglass. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I can't. Thank you, Glig. Just barely. I feel like it was just to the blast zone, but good stuff uh, to throw. I mean, he, he managed to get himself right back into the game quite well at that. I mean, like, the other thing about the fact that, like, he was down a bit. Yeah. He, oh, is that it? Wow. Yes, it is. Sick. Yeah, yeah Thunder Tail is nice. Uh, the way really third stock, like it was nothing. Uh, Why you got the Lucario picture? One up. I mean, if he can keep that type of play up, man, we could be going somewhere with this set for sure. Um, I, again, though, it's, it, it really Banana. is one, you know, stopping tweaks very, like, an outrageous uh, advantage thing. Look at that. Easy four piece right there. But it, I definitely feel as though he can get the same type of uh, play going for him. As nice. He kind of did in that first. Uh, forward air, forward last, air. The last game, you know. Even if he doesn't get a lot of damage, he might just be able to find Good himself catch. in games like he did. Still going to uh, get punished. Uh, By the way, what did tweak punish here? What did tweak punish here? Class? What did he do? Be able to find the second jump. Early Told you. Like uh, again, uh, with the Always the punish the double jump. Okay, get through there. Alright. Ew! Ew! Yes, that'll send them straight to the blast zone. No hesitation. Just Yeesh! That. that shouldn't happen. Not too often either. Yuck! It's, it's, it's kind of almost a lost art to an extent. Yuck! Well, for, I mean, well, when Sin's playing, yes, but like, <laughs> and Aaron Fall is playing, but like, we haven't seen a lot of uh, Syrup getting those PK Thunder 2s, so it was nice, though. That's I mean, so like, many down tilts, right good God. First stock. Wasn't able to uh, add up too much extra credit right there. POV, you're, you're fighting Diddy. It was worse than the last game. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Imagine a monkey just doing that at you over and over. Jesus Christ. Shut the hell up, Relatively chimp! Quickly. Oh my so God! Lead. See what you can do with it. And nice leader right now. So many great talented nesses that we have in this game, man. Good to good to have another one Drake. on the rise here in Syrup, and he's put, He's just draking on your shield. Against Tweak, uh, someone with a resume you could stack it up against anybody. Uh, some of the greats in the game, but man, he has been going toe to toe with them. Love what we're seeing. If you're just tuning in, this is the second set. Tweak winning the first one, three one, but. 
Yeah, Tweak is just holding shield right more now. At the better times, like, Island, maybe that's a, more Syrup just more jumping into it. Now. Because it feels like uh, Tweak is just holding shield, which he was doing anyway. Thank you, Zaders! With the Prime Gaming sub, super appreciated. That's actually going to put us one closer to our sub goal. Unfortunately, Prime Gaming sub, it's great. But since it doesn't roll over every month, I don't count it toward the sub goal. It's not... It's, it's great to support. Thank you so much. But it's not a paid subscription. Because of that, I don't count it for the sub goal. So we're almost there. We're almost there. We just need one more. Um, these, uh, later games too, so it seems like... I mean, yeah, his jumps have been getting caught a little bit. Uh, enough for it to... Down be, air, issue, up that air. Is, that's nice. Okay. He finds the Sick. confirms off those PK fires for sure. But yeah, it seems like he's downing. He's opting to shield a little bit more now in the later half of this... Uh, of these, uh, you know, this game between them. I might see an up smash out of shield somewhere here. Serp's no. got to stop that. That that's got to get punished at some point, right? He's opting to shield a little bit more. Now this dude is air dodging uh, in. Uh, these, uh, you know, these games between them. Air dodge or magnet in, air dodge in. Like he's been doing this the whole set. I haven't really made a note of it because like a lot of people do do it. But he uh nope. he well, has sure been doing it a lot. I, I don't know why that pop gun looks so different. Appreciate the support, but it doesn't count. True, yeah. Is free support real support when you think about it? What did Plato say about primes? Oh, this is all great catch from Tweak. Very doable situation. Dude, I did not know forward tilt was that good. Almost had it lined it's up like there. catching Ness exactly where he is. Surviving that down air at 72% for sure. Now you can see uh, Surf trying to go for his own down air. But that in hand. Throws that away immediately. Not expecting that last hit, man. He, was, he almost faced that out pretty well. Wow. Wow. Throws that away immediately. Not expecting that last hit, man. What? Peep this. I actually peep this. Guys. Bruh. Peep this one. Really? Like, really? Peep this Really? One. Look at this. The magnet goes off the shield. He air dodges. He falls with it. And it's still there? That's annoying. Nothing really happened. I just thought it was funny. Great job. Zachy might have saved him. The worst punish. Ooh, okay. No. Gotta go for a Trump. And that's not really something he's been doing too often, if at all. Actually, in this set, so that was a nice uh, attempt to go for something new. Tweak. Monkey flip yet again, and we are seeing quite a bit of PK fires. But I mean, he, again, if he gets one, I'm sure I'm sure that's the end of the game. He oh my god, that air dodge! Holy well. shit! That seemed kind of scary. Almost felt like he kind of put himself in a position to get punished, but he's not uh, able to get. Over he, I don't think he would have died, but uh, it's still like I can't believe he didn't get hit. That was nuts. All right. Good spacing on that. For the class oh, no. Oh, no. You don't have to do Whoa. that. He didn't have to do that. Yeah, he was so greedy for that. Uh, so what you do here, if you're Tweak, you don't have to go for the down air. Oh, no. You could just go for the Z drop and then just either reset forward air. Like down air is early percent, right? You don't have to go for this. You're crazy. What? Rather foolish. Okay. Tweak had that. He had that for sure. Yeah, he had that stuff like that's his go-to. Rather you know, foolish. Perfectly doesn't get it. I think he fell off with Nair. I think Serp used to finish that stock off. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm thinking that what happened was that the banana, uh, Tweak thought the banana was going to hit uh, Serp out, but it actually hit Serp in and in, under the yeah. out in one word in there. Damn, I didn't know he was one game so away well from winning. On. That sucks. All right. All right. That game of this uh, part of the tournament. Sick. The LCQ, but right now, man, uh, Zero, you know, he didn't lose, the, he lost the first set, but didn't really let that deter him. I think, I, yeah, Smash feels well. way better for Tweak here because you don't have the ambiguity of that area in between the two platforms. Now you get to chill under the platform with Banana. Uh, he should have gone here before. Uh, this is the right pick. Yeah. Because you get to control all this space in the middle, I, you know? No, sir. Understanding. Look, he sees it right there. He sees uh, the right and on the wall. He's up two games to one. Good forward throw. So there's no reason he can't put. Yeah, did he or, or right Tweak doesn't ever use his jump? 
if he doesn't have to. He's always just up being right away. Every time. Had a victory with the Diddy Kong. And uh, honestly, arguably the hardest Smash World Tour qualifier. Yeah, Syrup keeps doing the stalling aerial, which is very tricky on Ness. But at some point, it's like people are going to see through it, you know? Like that, like the double jump fall. Even if he's not doing magnet stalls, he's doing double jump cancels. Um, yeah, it's like, it's not gonna... One thing I'm gonna definitely notice about Tweet is style. And by magnet, I mean, like, he's not fully committing to it, you know? Obviously, it is magnet, I think that the read usually nets him more, but sometimes, you gotta go for the guarantee damage, you know? Jesus, that's annoying. Look at this. Usually nets him more. Sometimes. You're in the shield. He misspaced PK fire. So you're like, oh, I can get above him. Nope. He can land and get a forward air first. That's crazy. He can miss PK fire and then do that? Good God. I can't believe he got away with that. Good parry, back throw. Yeah. Z drop. Yep, 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 True, 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 yep. I can't believe how versatile that is. That feels like something that should be like a very situational setup, but it happens. Kind of like held to the edge while I feel like Serp has really been holding down that middle stage. Back throw. Almost. Yeah, he's fortunate he was as far away as he was. Nice. Yeah. Sniping that off, and yeah, he's not going to have enough time to charge and make that back. Almost feels like he's playing a little bit more reserved. Yeah, definitely. I can. You know? It feels like you know, like he's in his head a little bit. Yeah. No. Bad analysis. Tweak's not playing more reserved. Tweak was playing more reserved before. It's just he's getting hit more. You know. I think he's actually shielding less. Bad commentary. Yeah. No. And, and I'm, I'm That's just what I think. I don't know. <laughs> As it seems like, I feel like Tweak was shielding way more in the past, and now he's actually trying to fight more. Like, that's just the best term. He's probably not in his head, but I do think he's, like, you know, could be overthinking some situations when he was, like, in these situations earlier in this uh, set. He was not. Like, it was all like he's not getting grabbed more, you know? He's just out of his shield fighting. He's swinging too much. Either way, man, like, just syrup, you know? Regardless of what Tweak is doing, I'm surprised Tweak wins this. He's taking advantage. I thought that the, uh, the, the, I, I really thought that the storyline for the set would be Serp goes up 2-0 and then Tweak, like, figures him out. But it seems more like Tweak, like, like, this is hit for hit. Like, it's dead even percent, you know? Trying to seal this one up. nice. Jake lost the seed 1 and 2 at Infinity Con? Fuck, man. Now. Everybody's gonna clown on him. There, finds the forward air, so that sucks, because everybody five. wants to see him fail, because they're like, offline Steve, lol. If he lost a 1 and 2, I hope people know that. Mm. All right. I think he got ninth. Ninth is down, respectable, yeah. Right I feel like people would have wanted more, just because, you know, he's been making decision. so right much now, uh, bit, good oh, shit sir, online. Like, dare you to do oh, you're not gonna move? I'll come right to you. Easy grab. Oh my god, that was... Good shit, yeah. Yeah, this seems like it him. actually seems like Syrup's getting more of a like a download here because he's just like that was a, that was a Syrup is overshooting now, as far as I can tell. Which is to say that like Tweak keeps like pushing himself back. He's the carrot on the stick, and he's trying to bait and punish. Syrup is going through him, so he's gonna hit where he ends up, not where he uh, is. Sakurai approved, uh, Perry. You know, he felt good about he's that. like, I know what you're here to do. I got you. Yeah. I know what you're here to do. Hey? Ninth is pretty good. No, ninth is very good, yeah, like but that, uh, people won't the, uh, see it that way. Uh, like, if you win a bunch of first place out. online events, and then you get ninth at an offline, people are going to laugh at it. Maybe not. Maybe people... That's just my perception. Okay. That Smash Twitter nice. is very corny. Jake's only stream sets where I'm getting wrecked by first and second. I like Jake a lot. Jake seems to not take himself too seriously, which I think is really good. I think a lot of online people get, uh... Get get uh, uh, they the they get right serious. I'll just say that. I think Jake's gonna be good. Okay. They develop an online ego. Yeah, and like those are the guys that never develop anything offline because they're so used to that platform and they psych themselves out and they have this feeling like I have to perform offline. So let me just 
try my hardest, and then they burn out. But Jake seems to take it pretty, you know, he's cool, so. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. Get Tweety out of here and just put that, uh, that PK Thunder 2 to make sure the tail hits. Or the PK Thunder, uh, Jesus. Sure the tail hits. Bananas that's everywhere, that's yeah. Reclining that up smash. Yeah, Syrup has to respect uh, it more. Sure like, that's Syrup's it. still that, just uh, swinging, throwing out aerials, trying to find the throw. Sure he's the engaging with Diddy here. And maybe he has to, because Diddy, once again, if he gets set up, he's he sort of messed up. But Syrup's been managing fine. I think he could have been a little bit more patient, you know? Uh, and make sure the tail hits, and that's it. But that's going to be it for Tweak finding that up smash after the banana hit. Good stuff. Managed to take it to game five. All right. So that's so stupid. Pretty right sure there. that was Jake's first offline tournament. Dude, I saw a tweet today that was like... It was somebody asking uh, Broken. You guys know Broken? The Ken player, Broken? And they're like, hey, I need Ken practice. Play me. And he's like, well, I don't need Fox practice. So I don't really want to play. You can find another Ken player somewhere else. And then uh, he was like, guess he really needed the Fox practice. And it had a screenshot of him beating Broken. But that Discord was from like eight or ten months ago. Like, <laughs> he was waiting eight to ten months to, to take that screenshot and beat him once in an online tournament. Like, why... Got him, I guess. I don't... And Broken wasn't even being rude. He was just like, hey, I'm, I don't really want to play. And, and the guy that came in wasn't even being, like, polite about it. He was like, hey, I'm really looking for Ken practice. Can we play some games so I can get some practice? I'd really appreciate it. He was just like, I need Ken practice. And the guy's like, I don't need Fox practice. What the fuck do you want? It was very funny. It was very funny. It got, like, 1,500 likes. Smash Twitter is a mess. Smash Twitter is a fucking mess, dude. TSM, Armada. Battle for the ages right now. Like, <laughs> good God, dude. On Smash World Tour. And his ring and he has this like, reason to switch, right? Now. Is Broken still banned or whatever? I don't know. I don't really care. I don't know, man. Yeah. Broken's like toxic, but like he's he's young and on the internet. He's gonna do some and say some dumb shit. I, I think a lot of the shit that he says is obviously too I don't want to get into this shit. It's so stupid. It's kids being kids on the internet, you know? It's just Smash Twitter. Obviously, the shit that he says is bad, and, and it, it's, it sucks, but he's... Who cares? Okay. Battlefield. Gonna make a normal Battlefield at that. Gonna make it uh, I believe first appearance here. Whatever. Yeah, we've seen a lot of on Battlefield, but yep. I'm not sure about normal. Maybe, maybe what are the stakes of all this, you know? You know? It, regardless, it, it's definitely one of the rarities of the, of the picks uh, of the set. Battlefield sure. is huge. And uh, it looks like... Uh, there's no rareness right here. Would you want to go to Battlefield business? Another... Yeah, I guess you get more, like, bursty kills. Well, no. Do you want to go to this battlefield? I feel like if you die to a Z-drop banana, you are fucked. Because you would die at, like, 50, 60, and then Diddy lives forever. I don't know. Maybe this is, I don't know. I feel like living longer isn't the issue. Right, the left not to bring out a banana yet. There we go. Clap, clap right. for there. This to totally went off the rails. We're not even talking well about Diddy it. anymore. <laughs> a lot of patience right now. Yeah? No one's I trying mean, to be too it's, it's like game it. five, bro. It I get it. Yeah. Syrup's mental must be shot. Everybody well, dude, when you go game last. five on uh, on like on you. this long. People don't talk about mental endurance in tournaments. It is exhausting playing this many games, especially online when you play like three sets in five hours. Jesus. We play some very intense neutral. You know? Look how much Tweak slowed this down, by the way. Look at this. He has Ness off screen. Everybody Watch this. Last. Gun. Walk you. back forth. Shield. Uh, Run away. Roll neutral. in. Grab banana. You know? Roll in. His ass is not playing. Oh, oh, and then he didn't tech. Holy shit. Miss tech. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. That's funny. That's funny. Double clap. Taking this tournament. God, that's just... Why does everybody do this? Everybody does this. Clap. Run away. You're gonna air dodge back in. Clap again. Sick. 
Everybody does it. Everybody does it. Jab locks are sick to me. I like jab locks until it becomes clear that like online I I like them way less because it is it is so much harder to react to them in time. You know, especially in a game where like if you air dodge off stage you might just die. Yeah, has somewhere else to be like. Another nest playing in another region. Gotta go help him out. All right. So syrup. Still, I mean, he's doing. A, I feel like he's actually trying to control the ground a little more here. Barry's looking good. Uh, trying to space out some of Tweak's uh, approaches, and he has been doing a pretty decent job of doing that. Okay. Not gonna be able to get that though, unfortunately. If he gets under, not fast enough. Neutral air, forward air. Yeah, this is... Yeah, the pace is too much now. Uh, I don't even know if this is a Diddy thing. I think... Uh, well, no, I think it is. I think it is. I think all doors are now closed. Like, I think... I think we're now at the point where... Where the doors are beginning to, to shut, right? And, like, with the banana and with these aerials... Like, if you play this right, look at this. There's no way back, right? Look at this. Neutral air, forward air. Now, platform is danger. Platform is danger. Because platform means aerial. Banana here. Where do you go? Going to ledge is danger. You want a magnet, it doesn't work. Now what? Well, peanut's coming. Forward air to beat the peanut, but then you land on the banana. Fuck me. Oh. You know, he taxes him so much for just trying to come back and there monkey flip. Yep, he's got that higher percent. You know, he's gonna be looking to use that shield. Stall off stage, yeah, but then you're off stage. And look at this, so much more powerful. He's so scary. He didn't get anything out of it though. No, now this tried to hard commit. I feel like honestly, both of them can lose the stock relatively soon. Back throw will that kill? Yes, okay, I thought so. All right, there we go. Final ledge was probably the best we'll option, but Diddy, when you're at ledge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you're high percent, scary. As much as he can, ninety percent. Not the healthiest of stocks, but certainly not the most in danger. Yeah. Oh God! Mm, oh God! Okay. Yeah. That damage is beautiful. He's up to sixty-three. We said maximize. Maximize your. Yeah, I'm saying maximize your damage right there. Look at the way he just runs away. Look at the way yeah. Tweak okay, plays Diddy okay. Kong. Is this character what is obnoxious. You take all the hits you can, you knock them away, and then you reset. And Syrup is is flustered. He's a little frustrated. He's gonna try to force something. Come in with Magnet. What does Diddy do? Runs away. Runs away again. Waits for an option, and it beats him. Oh, man. Runs away in advantage? Well, not really. What tweaks? Do, he's he's pushing his advantage to the max, and then he's running away. He's not forcing anything. He's mentally resetting, which is important to do. Because if you don't reset, you get screwed up. Someone catch that fucking monkey! Wasn't there a movie about that? Oh wait, no, that was the cat. That's that darn cat, right? Maybe Dunstan checks in. Are they trying to get the monkey and Dunstan checks in? I don't know. I don't want to say it because I know as soon as I'm like, I'm not trying to curse. I'm moving. It's coming. I have to I'll try to curse it. 149. <laughs> yeah, you now you're just he's, he's really but the clap is coming. Fire start here. And, I mean, he wants that down tilt so bad. Very aware. I mean, he is shielding all of these exactly all yeah. 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 So the one saving grace against Diddy is that he can't really kill you outright. He has a lot of stuff to put you in really bad positions like uh banana, pop gum, whatever. He has all the stuff to put you at the ledge. Um, and he is down tilt. If he lands that, he'll kill you. But, like, he has to land the down tilt. He doesn't have, like, a kill throw, really. He doesn't have a kill setup out of grab. He doesn't really have anything that will really threaten you up close. He just has a lot of things that seem scary. But if you dash attack his shield at 149... You know? Then you die. I love these sound effects. I gotta with, add ouch. I really gotta add okay. ouch. Yeah! What an awful sound much. effect. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I wanted to find that one Halloween one. What's the one that's like, oh yeah! That one? It's like a scream, but it, it starts to, oh yeah! That one, you know? 
Anyway, is Diddy Kong good? Yeah. Yeah, he is, but I, it feels like a lot of other characters could do what Diddy Kong does, but with less effort. Diddy Kong is if you just really want to style, or if you feel the song of the monkey in your heart. And the taste of banana on your tongue. That is who Diddy Kong is for. I think. I don't know. It does feel like only really good Diddy play or only good players play Diddy, right? Diddy is not really like a beginner's character. Um, and it's funny because he used to be, right? In Smash 4, he was pretty simple, but... Anyway, Diddy Kong's pretty nice, I would say. Tweak is also pretty nice. I'm excited to see offline. I want to see if he keeps going with Diddy. Um, or if he's going to go back. I know he's done with Wario, but he's got Sephiroth and some other stuff. What do you think? Comment below, I guess. Let me know what you think about Diddy. I'll read him for sure. Definitely. When I can Pretty good movie. Pretty good. <laughs> somebody just, uh, somebody just, somebody just added me on this. Got a pretty good windstorm going in here in Nevada. His ass is not drinking. His ass is not drinking. That's pretty good. That's pretty funny. That's me with my root. Hell yeah, brother. I have to open up a brand new can. Love the stuff. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. No stream tomorrow because it's Friday. Uh, Saturday is E3. And I think the first, con the first thing I'm watching is Ubisoft. Right? Bad father? Dude, no. It's 1.30. I shouldn't have even gone that long on the analysis. The editor's gonna hate me. Uh, the first thing I'm watching at E3 is 3 p.m. on Saturday. So, yeah. 3 p.m. Saturday is the next stream. Then a lot of Sunday. I go sleep. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, let's find somebody to raid. I need more people to raid. I gotta put uh, Scott Falco on my list. Because Scott Falco was, uh, he keeps raiding me. He's a nice guy. Uh. Dead as heck? Oh, hell yeah. Let's do that. I don't know why I'm not following him. That's crazy. All right, we're going to go raid Dad. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon. Stream uh, Sunday, and I promise we'll check on the babies. I swear. Please believe me. I go sleep. Good night. Wow. What an absolutely incredible stream from me, the Honorable Grand King Coney. One that will go down into history books as the best Twitch broadcast of all time. We laughed, cried, and maybe even learned a little something along the way. What was your favorite part of the stream? That was my favorite part too. Please don't cry, though our adventures are coming to an end. Let us always remember the good times. I say to you, my fellow kings, dry your tears. The stream may be over, but its cherished memory will live forever on in our hearts. Until next time, my name is Cody, and thank you for watching my stream. Go the fuck to sleep.